Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you see Shouldn't have never got me on this whiskey. We up? Yeah. See, you stupid. I said <laughs> they didn't even do it, dog. Bro, everybody. I thought you knew. We yeah. know. I ain't know Bro. how everybody knew but me. I don't know. You ain't see- Hey, I thought you was repeating it back to no, me. No, Everybody in here heard me say three, two, one, yes, six. Yeah. yeah, but you said it like right <laughs> after I said it to you. Yeah, no. you, you feel me, TJ? Soon as I said it, we're going to get this shit right one day, dog. Everybody knew but me. But, dude. <laughs> I said three, you said you ready? Yes. I, I know. You ready? Three, two, one, six. No, I thought I ain't. That's my fault. I'm going to take it. Since everybody knew and I was an asshole that didn't catch it, I'm going to take it on me. Well, y'all joined us in at an awkward position. <laughs> but, hey, we won on last week and we just came in with a bang anyway. Y'all see the big dog in the, in the, in the studio. In the studio, my co host. Uh, the great Ke- Ke- Kevin Falk. Man, What's stutter. up, Kev? I'm good, but you got a little stuttering going on. What's the problem? Nah, going cuz, on man, bit? I'm still thinking about that shit with Stu just now. That was, it was all me. It was me, dog. It was me. You bought that one up, nah. It was me. I did. I bought it. You bought that one up, I bought it. I'm sorry. A true quarterback. You're smoking like a true quarterback. I bought it. That was true. That was on me. That's my bad. I like I ran the wrong route, but he he said the route, and then I ran it, and now it's my fault. I yeah, but good. I took it. All right, it's good. I just took I was, it. We good, you know. My fault. <laughs> my fault. The, the, the cornerback know. dropped the pick, so we good. Yeah, we, we good. good. We got to drop down to play with. And welcome to <laughs> where my dogs at. We back, baby. We on here last week, but we back this week and got a lot on the table. I mean, a lot on the table. We got everything from LSU football, cheating coaches. Oh, man. Mm. Tough week. It's a tough week for coaches. For real. Hey, I thought it was innocent until proven guilty. Well, well that man is. I, uh, that's tough. I, they got the evidence. They, they got the evidence. They got the evidence. The evidence is there. They got the evidence. All right. I, I didn't read enough uh, yeah, info. I don't know as much as them, but they put it all on the paper and you know. Oh, well, we gonna. They talk wouldn't about put that it on later. ESPN if they didn't think like because if it was really like. Why I don't know, like that slander, like, right? Definitely. That, like, yeah, I don't watch baseball, but they got some things going on in baseball. Mm-hmm. That boy Aaron trying Jones to get sixty home runs. That boy up there yeah. trying to get the sixty-one, <clears throat> ain't it? Astros yeah. are the honey wins. Astro, yeah, that's big. I see OP, I yeah, see. Yeah, he, 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 OP coming but, through. But y'all got to know that's his team. That's, that's all right. That. That's all right. That's I'm all a Dodgers right. fan, so it's good. We, that's we all right. We got a bunch of hot topics. Some good hot topics coming up. I don't really watch baseball until like the World Series. Yeah. Like playoff time. Playoff. You know, I yeah. watch playoff baseball crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only reason why hey. I really started watching baseball is because we went to Boston. Hey, I ain't going to lie. Me too, though. Dodgers got 103. Me too. So. Dodgers got 103 what? Wins? wins. Damn. Jesus. They all only count. The Yankees ain't on that. They play? <laughs> well, they play 160 what? 162, wins. I think. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, no, how many games they played so far? Yeah. <laughs> Once, 103. How many games they won? They won 103 and 46. So, oh, that season about to be over. Yeah, yes. season okay, was, okay. was October. So yeah. Right, right. All right, all right. True, true. Right, right, right. hundred percent. Right. Y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to be back, locked in, and we're going to get straight to this LSU past Mississippi State and on to New Mexico. We got a quarterback that played lights out last week. A lot of running, a lot of throwing. We're going to bust it all down, see where we at right now. After how many games? Three games? Three games. Mm-hmm. After three games. Yeah. Well, that's a good assessment to see where you at after three in New Mexico State. Huh. Yeah. We'll see what happened there. Is it New Mexico it's or New, New Mexico, Mexico State? Who is it? It's okay. New oh, New Mexico. It is and, a New and, and Mexico State. That's what I was about State. to no say. While you was, that's why I was about to New say Mexico. while you were talking. Oh, let's not say that. Why do I want to say New Mexico State? I know. <laughs> it just oh, sound right. better. It, it do. does sound better. It do, yeah. It, it just it, sound better put that state on there. Right, right, right. That's right. state. That's state. But New Mexico, I'm right. sorry. No disrespect to We have never guys. played them before. Never. Mm-mm. Played New Mexico State. And like I think it was. I know we played New Mexico. Twenty fifteen or twenty fourteen and ninety six. Whenever I was say. That's the year before I got there. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. New Mexico. Well, we ain't never played them. The Lobos. Come on, the Lobos. Come on. Hey, they used to be good in basketball. Now. Mm-hmm. 
I remember them in basketball. But that's it. They ain't never played them before. They come on in the Tiger Stadium, get baptized right quick, send them on up back up there to New <laughs> take Mexico. Take that little check. Go yeah, home. take that little check. That go home. Check. We got to talk about Dion too. Dion was talking about the checks that are being written in the HBCU yeah. for uh, these guys coming to play and how it's less than, you know, say like a New Mexico state mm-hmm. or a ball state or somebody like that. LSU did right, though, by Southern. They gave them a good, nice little check. You know what I'm saying? But... I mean, they giving these HBCUs three hundred, four hundred thousand to come I mean, play. They ain't gonna do shit. If they come see you, that's just them paying to come fly there, come back and get a good meal. That ain't doing a damn thing. So right. they gotta give them some more money than that. LSU did great by giving Southern what they did them in Grambling next year, but they they got at least I mean at least at least eight something, huh, kid? You got you gotta you know take care of your state. Take care of them, baby. Take care of them. We're gonna be back, man. We're gonna take a short break and be back to dive all into this film, man. We'll be back on where my dog's at. Let go. So so well I gotta tell you yeah, what happened. So, so, man, it's a, when they play that song, that fight song, man, you know, we only play that fight song in the fourth quarter in the start of the game. Well, well, it was a time where they were trying to rally us and we were getting our ass destroyed. Yeah, it was, it was 13 that in the halftime. The band played the fight song in the second quarter. Show like did. Show did. It, it man, they absolutely that did. goddamn song got in my bones, and I started having a goddamn out of body experience. <laughs> and I told Coach Saber was walking, and I told Coach Saber, Coach, I want to play. And he looked at me and said, Why don't you step behind the line? <laughs> Hot topics, dog. How you feeling? Hot man? topics. Let's get into that right now. What we talking about right now is, you know, myself. I played for uh, Coach Jimbo Fisher, and I also played for Coach Nick Saban um, at the hot twilight of my years at LSU, uh, transferring from Coach Jerry Donardo. And I, I, I've spoken about this a couple times. We gotta turn the air up down in here, dog. Damn. Um, I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody knows Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for so for for Coach Saban to, excuse me, to go into the 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 kind of rant that he did. But I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the the name calling part. I think somebody might have slipped slipped him a Mickey or or, or slipped him something uh, before he before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and and and, and some. Uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level for him to call them guys and especially for him to call them guys out after dog. Coach Saban been winning the the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without the under the table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting wise and uh, coaching wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parody and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parody is happening. You know what I mean? Parody is happening when it comes to the Texas A&Ms, the, 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 the Clemsons, the, the, the uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack. And now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL, 
The, and, and, and the question, and that's why I said when he was at that at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was a, how are you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money. You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know? Listen, these guys. The reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after, and they are edge rushers and they are defensive players, is because they got more money. It's because they offered these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checks books and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle of trying to, like you said, get some kind of parity for the NCAA or the federal government, whoever the hell, to come in and regulate what they're doing with the money. I say this, man, you better catch up. <laughs> so, see, if, 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 if he's going to come out and do that every time, well, now, and now come back and backtrack and try to call Jimbo. You know, that I talked to Jimbo personally about this, and their friendship was a friendship that was more uh, professional. Yeah, you know what I mean? Professional. Uh, not we're going to spend time in the off season and with our families and all that bullshit. It was, you know, very professional. You coach for me. We learn from each other, that type of thing. We know each other's bullshit also. I know your bullshit, you know mine. So why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? Why would you open up that can when now they're going to dig into your shit? So now they're going to dig into all the bullshit. Guys could come out that's disgruntled with you, could come out and say all kind of bullshit. Guys that you just offered that bag to that didn't take it and went somewhere else and took the other bag, now they could come out and say, you know what I mean? It's just all that shit. So why not keep it, keep, keep, keep all that in house? The coach is the most important play in this whole thing with these guys because one is new offenses, then guys are younger, guys are coming from different systems, coming from different everywhere. So the one that, that's the other fact that's going to come into this. Whoever picks this shit up the fastest, whoever picks this it's up It's an even where, playing field. Yeah, 100%. Even playing field because you talk about Miles Brennan having experience. He's had, what, four different coordinators in four years? Yeah, but that helps him also. Uh, yeah, because uh, that's <laughs> yeah. just different terminology at that point. I've seen it all. Yeah. Uh, to bring back the Joe Brady one. That one worked. That one, that one seemed to work. Yeah, you adapt, man. You adapt. You adapt to it. And and Nussmeyer, by him coming, his dad being a coach and coming from um, that pedigree and that background, this is also something that he should be comfortable with. I know he's young, but learning different terminology, um, concepts are basically the same. It's you know, different verbiage. Curl flat is curl flat. Goals is goals. You know what I mean? It's just different terminology. So that type of thing for them should get picked up pretty easily um, from Nuss, Meyer, from all those guys. All those guys are smart guys. Miles, all those guys. They should pick that up pretty, pretty swiftly. But Nuss, Meyer's advantage in this whole thing is, I mean, without a doubt, his legs. Without a doubt, his confidence. You know, without a doubt, his ability. And he actually reads defenses pretty good right now for the stage that he is in in his young, young, young career. He picks up defenses and goes to the right part, right place with the ball pretty good. His problem is getting them feet in line all the time or going to, because he's so athletic. You know what I mean? So sometimes he just relies strictly on that quick twitch and getting that ball out, but he has to get his feet lined up. And also with him, he has to work on that accuracy, accuracy as well. Coaches chimed in on that. Uh, Lane Kiffin chimed in too. Lane Kiffin was like, his <laughs> Lane Kiffin said his mouth was still wide open. It was seven o'clock and he's still looking at the tele <laughs> at the television. And the press conference was that damn one o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean? So I, all those coaches chimed in because they were surprised at what happened with Coach Saban saying that. Because if you think about Coach Saban, everything that he does is very calculated, and it's and it's and it's to move the needle in his direction in his favor. So I don't know if what his motive was, I would love for him to let us know what that was or to come out so we can find out. I don't know what his motive was, but his mo but it, whatever his motive was, it was definitely something that he planned in my opinion, just from playing for him and, I, and knowing him as a, as a per, as you know, friends. In a wreck.
Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is ready to go to work for you. Come meet your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case and connect you with your attorney and paralegal. That's us, your legal team. Thanks. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. I'm your settlements and disbursement manager, and I'm here to get you paid on time. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Put our team to work today. Just call us. Do you suffer from chronic dehydration? Are you looking to improve your athletic performance and you need to get over and see our friends over at GoFlow IV? They're located on Jefferson Highway. Easy to find them online at geauxflowiv.com. Make sure and use the promo code Jordy Collada Show. If you do, they'll take 15% off of your initial visit. Check them out online, geauxflowiv.com. In a wreck, Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is ready to go to work for you. Come meet your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case and connect you with your attorney and paralegal. That's us, your legal team. Thanks. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. I'm your settlements and disbursement manager, and I'm here to get you paid on time. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Put our team to work today. Just call us. Get it done! The coach is the most important play in this whole thing with these guys because one is new offenses, then guys are younger, guys are coming from different systems, coming from different everywhere. So the one that – that's the other fact that's going to come into this. Whoever picks this shit up the fastest, whoever picks this it's up to where – even playing field. Yeah, 100%. Even playing field because you talk about Miles Brennan having experience. He's had, what, four different coordinators in four years? Yeah, but that helps him also. Uh, yeah, because uh, that's <laughs> yeah. just different terminology at that point. I've seen it all. Yeah. Uh, to bring back the Joe Brady one, that one worked. That one, that one seemed to work. Yeah, you adapt, man. You adapt. You adapt to it. And and Nussmeyer, by him coming, his dad being a coach and coming from um, that pedigree and that background, this is also something that he should be comfortable with. I know he's young, but learning different terminology, um, concepts are basically the same. It's you know, different verbiage. Curl flat is curl flat. Goals is goals. You know what I mean? It's just different terminology. So that type of thing for them should get picked up pretty easily um, from Nussmeyer, from all those guys. All those guys are smart guys. Miles, all those guys. They should pick that up pretty, pretty swiftly. But Nussmeyer's advantage in this whole thing is, I mean, without a doubt, his legs. Without a doubt, his confidence. You know, without a doubt, his ability. And he actually reads defenses pretty good right now for the stage that he is in in his young, young, young career. He picks up defenses and goes to the right part, right place with the ball pretty good. His problem is getting them feet in line all the time or going to, because he's so athletic. You know what I mean? So sometimes he just relies strictly on that quick twitch and getting that ball out, but he has to get his feet lined up. And also with him, he has to work on that accuracy, accuracy as well. Defensive film, man. Let's go. 
LSU Mississippi State. This is Mississippi State. LSU Mississippi State. I'm going to drop the joint. LSU Mississippi right, State. You ready? Yeah, man. You know, I'm pretty big. Hey, first off, though, hold on before we go. Let's say this. It was a good performance because I know I'm going to get into this and be critical of some things. Uh, and I, I want people to understand, like, you know, it's bad to have a quarterback criticizing <clears throat> another quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're an old quarterback now and you know how the game supposed to be played. You know what I'm saying? So I always give grace. We got to I got to understand. We in a young season. We got a whole new system. We got a whole new players, transfer portal guys, freshman players. We started two freshman tackles, first time ever. Um, so I'm gonna give my guy a lot of grade, but he showed up. Uh, Jay Nines played his behind, played well, um, played really well against uh, Mississippi State. Uh, courageous uh, comeback um, by the team. Um, showed a lot, a lot of resolve, man. I think they showed a lot of resolve. And I want to see it continue, see it continue. Got down early, fought back. Defense showed they behind up. Shout out to uh, BJ. Uh, OJ Larry showed up. I mean, boy, he, he that boy was playing like, 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 like Michael Parsons for the Cowboys, man. Just coming off that air, spinning, dipping, and coming in there. He was getting hits on the quarterback, sacks on the quarterback. So, uh, the front played well for them, um, but we got to, we, we, you know, I, 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 I'm that coach and care of the same way that when I talk to my son at the, at the football game, we ain't talking about what he did great. We talking about what he fucked up on, you know what I mean? Or I definitely congratulate him and let him know what he did wonderful, but we took going to touch on what. But before what, you touch on that, I can't believe you didn't talk about your boy. Who that? Jay Ward. Hey, you know I love Jay Ward now. I, I, hey, I believe you know, I, didn't talk hey, about your boy Jay Ward. Too. Hey, you know I. <laughs> hey, everybody know I love me some Jay Ward now. I, I was waiting. I know, I know. Get no. live, get live. Hey. He was coming in. Jay to Ward. Some. We gotta get Jay Ward in here, man. Yeah, you know I love me some yeah. Jay Ward. Jay Ward. Hey, I was, I was, wait, I was waiting for I know, you. Dog, I was I know. like, okay, I'm gonna let him. I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, let, I'm gonna let him bring it in. I'm gonna let him bring it in. Yeah, then when you didn't bring it in, I'm gonna jump in and take it from it. Hey. I love me some Jay Ward now. You but to, to follow you. you about, you know, how I we played defensively, we played an outstanding Ooh, game. Ooh, Jay Co Ward was balling. Shout out to Coach House. House, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, the, you know, the scheme and everything. But like you say, Jay Ward was balling. I had a talk Ooh. with Jay Ward last week before this My game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just to let him know, like, dog, I see you. I see you yeah, out there. You, yeah. you flying through there, yeah. coming hey, through there making tackles. But – be under control yeah yeah yeah, yeah because yeah. when you out of control that's when you kind of get hey. hurt a little bit you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. hey. and i and this the mississippi state game he, he was, was under control. control yes yes hey yes. listen man you know i love yeah. me some jay ward dog jay ward jay ward the way he play and go get that thing because he got all the ball hawking abilities Everything. Oh, that shit. He's really a corner. Yeah, he really a corner. <laughs> He's really a corner playing hey, safety, nickel. playing nickel, you know, playing, doing all of it. And he remind me of young Ed Reed, dog. Ooh, ooh. Don't take it from me. Yeah, I know it's high. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. I know it's high praise. Yeah. Because I ain't I'll, say good at it. Just a young, just the way, you know, like, you could just do everything. Like, you just pointed out. You could come down. You could tackle. You could, you going to, if that ball in, you're going to get that pick. Like, you know, ball, hulk. You know, not as good because Ed Reed was a fucking. But that's man. your mental ass. That's my yeah. That's how, that's how that's how I put him in that mode. The, the yeah. you know my I, hey you know I love me some Jay Ward. Now he in that mode. Jay Ward come just like you said though, care. Sometimes he do be too fast before and just come down trying to knock a motherfucker out and yes. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but now it's like he's coming down. He more alert. He more aware. He under breaking control. down under yeah. control. And then if you slip up, he gonna knock your ass off. Mm -hmm. Don't Ooh. let the smallness on the yeah. screen fool you. Know. Oh, oh, oh. Don't he let got, it fool you. Though. He got farmer strength. Like, <laughs> for real. Farmer, huh? Noodle. That for country real. strength. Hey, I right, love me some J-Wall. But that defense, listen. That defense showed up. Shout out to BJ, too, man. Right, BJ, right. goodness gracious. Perk. Perk. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, yeah. Him, too. Him, too. Oh. Him, too. Him, too. Oh. Hey, now you know I love me some Harold Perkins. Hey. hey. 
demon hole. So oh like, my lord Jesus. Now he overran one one time. Yeah, right? But that's because he's so fast. Yeah, but he so ran fast. through a bunch yeah, of them. <laughs> hey Kel, that damn Harold Perkins, I'ma tell you. Now, I watch a lot of recruits. And you know, they come in, they they supposed to be this, they supposed to be that, and you wait till they show up. But I'm gonna tell you. Harold Perkins, he shows up every time you put that ticker on. And he don't talk. He don't say nothing. He quiet. Like. That's the ones I like, though. You said you tell Harold, so it's like he mad or something. He give you that that, that mean. And hey, you know how they say the quiet ones, the ones you need to watch out for. Definitely. I ain't even know that. Hey, we need to get Harold Perkins on here too. Michael Barnett, I'm gonna be calling you because uh, I need to get Harold Perkins <laughs> on this show. I'm gonna be call- Harold Perkins. I gotta clip it. <laughs> no, nah, for real, I'm, I need to get Harold Perkins Adam. on this. That that is my guy. Adam. Y'all know that. Adam. Y'all Harold know and Jay Ward. And right. Jay Ward, baby. I need to get both of them two animals on here. Them two young gunners. Them two young. And you know why I like Jay Ward though, for real? It's because of how he handled himself last year when it's going through that bullshit. You know what I mean? It says a lot, bro, for you to play when it's all on the line and everything's perfect and da 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 But when you have that adversity, and the other part about it is I saw guys tank it. I saw guys say, you know what, this shit ain't going nowhere, da 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 But that says a lot about that kid's character. You right. know what I mean? And that's Definitely. the part about it that touches me that I like about it is he continued to play, he continued to ball, he continued, you know, fuck what's going on with this, with that. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to do my thing. And that's how I respect about it. Now, Harold Perkins, I'm going to tell you, that, you know, I just seen the kid this year. But that speed and tenacity and how he, he, he is able to dissect the play as quick as he is, as young as he is, his instincts. Speed. I'm a t- that speed, bro. Speed. That speed. <laughs> it was a couple times he came off the edge. It was just like, like the tackle ain't even getting his kick step yet. Hey, dog. That speed kill kills, I, don't it? When I seen him on the edge beat the tackle, I'm like, oh, he has nothing. Because if he can do that. <laughs> That's exactly right. You know, we was always no. He does the more you can do, the more you can do. Look at Michael Parsons. That's why I just. That's why. That's who I was just about to say. He's in that same mold of Michael Parsons, the way he rushes the passer. He rushes the passer. He has a spin move. He has a dip technique that, that dip is that down. Dip is that's nasty. what you're talking about yeah, that, that dip is na- be he's so fast. i'm about to see so, so fast, fast. And he's so athletic mm-hmm. yeah. so fast yeah. and so athletic because at one time he dipped and touched the ground and still got but that's what you're supposed to do is dip everybody can't do that yeah, no they say no everybody, everybody can't. You, think you, you grass you know you did it right you think them tackles could get down now man look that tackle was in his he, he and his but this the thing like, right this the thing and we're gonna run the film out there but this the thing you got two Young left tackle, well, excuse me, not too young, a right and a left tackle, freshman that started. You're going up against BJ, Harold Perkins, Ali Gay. Ali, Ali Gay. Gay. Every day. Every Ugh. freaking day, bro. Those guys are going to be high draft guys, right? And you have these two young, really good tackles. Right. But like Kev pointed out a couple of weeks ago, it don't matter if you're a four star, five star. When you come in, you're gonna go through growing pains. Yes. But you going through growing pains, going up against these animals right here. How good are they gonna be? Iron you know sharpens what I'm iron always. Iron sharpens iron, my G. You ain't lying. What we got on that film, dog? Let's run that film. We're gonna break this thing down, Mississippi State. See where the holes were. See why the play was successful. Why the play was not successful. And who we got? New Mexico coming up. So this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say New Mexico State again. You, you know I was. You got to repeat. You got to say it slow so yeah, you don't say state. I had to actually look at that damn schedule on the wall <laughs> to make sure I ain't say state. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to put it big? You want to go full screen or you want it? Full screen, dog. Nah, this good right here. Split. As long as I get full on the right, put me, leave me and Kev up, though. All right. And uh, we'll go right here. Running the first time, we're going to go back to it. As long as I get full on the right. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to catch it for y'all. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it for y'all, dog. I'm going to catch it for y'all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we got to get these boys from last year about here, man. <laughs> uh, three, three, seven. Three, three. Hey, man, that's why you're here, because man. of boy from last year. Yeah, ain't lying. That's the honest and good and truth, boy. See, so look at where we're going to rewind this thing right here. This is the first one right here by Jaden. And, and listen, this is simple uh, smash concept. Yes. You know what I mean? Simple smash concept. When we talk about smash concept, 
we talking about some kind of extension to the sideline. Rewind it to the beginning. Who this is in the slot right here? That's uh, Mason Taylor. Yeah, it looked like they tight ran end. like a switch. Tight end. They ran so, a switch. So, okay, so Mason Taylor as a tight end, right? So when I say so normally, normally, the normal, this is very actually a really good design because normal smash concept you have this outside receiver running wide right. and running whether a hitch and you have the inside receiver coming straight down running a corner route. This is actually very creative uh by them. They just switched it up running. They just switched but it up. But also the splits is tight, that's why splits too. Splits is tight. Split and that's an indication. Like yes, Kev just pointed out. Go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning. Because care, 100%. 100%. Yeah, if this, this was going to be a, a traditional, uh, uh, my guy out here, who's the receiver? Kayshawn. 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 That's seven. Mm-hmm. Kayshawn would be outside the numbers. Yep. Kayshawn would be outside the numbers and ending up where the tight end would be. So Kayshawn would be wider on his splits if Kayshawn wasn't the one coming in running the corner route. Very, very, 100%, Kev. So now you have a switch stop. So now we have him switching. Right, uh, Kayshawn is coming up. You have this 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 safety here, right? The only thing that I say that Kayshawn should be doing a little bit differently on here. I wish I had a pointer to show you, but he should be attacking a little bit more. Here we go, Put right there. Press him all the way down. Now we coming out. He's attacking that inside shoulder of that safety, right? So he should be running straight instead of just running your route. Straight now, because what it does is it gives the the quarterback more room to the sideline. And it also, once he presses in, Kev, it gives him an opportunity. Now, that's the last defender, right? right? He could keep that shit high, keep it real high. Now, instead of a 10, 15-yard game, we're talking about the home run right here. Right, but we also got to remember, we don't know what they're being coached. It might be two, three steps and straighten it up. You, You know how some guys be coached? Other guys coach differently, like... For for us, where we come from, NFL coach would tell us press his outside press shoulder. Press his outside shoulder. Make him think you're trying to get inside. Of Make, him. That's exactly right. You're trying to get across right, that right. face, or you're trying to beat him over the top. But I mean, uh, shit. You know, I'm gonna have to go back and say we was coached by some of the best. I mean, I know we was in the NFL, and I know I was coached by some of the best. So my thing here is, you know. I'm pressing that out that inside shoulder, Kev, Definitely. because I'm pressing that inside shoulder because now even if I'm pressing that inside shoulder and he sees me coming and turns and bails and get out of there faster, opens up, open up that stance and start running. I got an easier throw as a as a as a, as a quarterback. Oh, I definitely. got an easiest throw. It's an easier route. Now we come off that hip and keep it high. And we may have six. So, you know, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. For me, it's making two routes look the same. That's exactly right. For instance, like you're talking about, hit that inside shoulder. Well, if I'm trying to hit that inside shoulder, I'm trying to make it look like I'm trying to run an in cut. Um, but at the same time, I want to make that same route look like this route, like right? Here. Going, that's exactly yes. right. That's exactly. So, again, if I'm Kayshawn, I'm not straightening up right here, right? I'm coming off that linebacker and I'm diving. I'm taking two steps inside and I'm diving down at this safety. Like Kev just pointed out, making this routes look the same. And I'm trying to make this safety think that I'm trying to come across his face, open his hips up to the field. Once he opens his hips up to the field, meaning that right foot plants and he's pivots. He's open up to the field. Now I'm coming off of his hip. And I'm keeping it high, and it's fucking six. Honestly, we already know that. I didn't see you running up, but instead here it's a good catch, first down, same thing, and it's a great read, good completion. I would, I would, I would have threw the same uh, ball. Great drive starter. Great drive starter, hundred percent. Good read. Go back to the beginning. You know, you know, shit. That, Y'all gonna get tired of me saying going back, but I break film down. When we break this thing down, I'm used to breaking it down, going back about 15, 20 times. We only gonna do about five with y'all, cause we get on time. But look, nice read. He knew where he was going from the beginning. His eyes was to the left the whole entire time. He knew who he was going from the beginning. Um, I would like for him to hold it a little bit more and then get there. But hey, good, good drive starter, like Kev just said. Great drive starter. Good job by the back finding his protection. Yeah, scanning, right? Yeah, Good job indeed. of scanning. Good job of scanning. Who, who, who started? 22. Okay. Armani. There we go. 
This was later in the game. Later in the game, we got an empty set. What no quarters, problem. Stu? All right, all right, no worry about it. Empty set, two by two. Look like uh, now we come back to a two by one with the back in the field. Let's go. We got to bring, bring, ah, go back. Now, now, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Bring it all the way back, faster than that. You in slow motion. Bring that thing back for your boy, T. Pause. Go back. Yeah, that's good right there. Leave right there. Now, what you see here is, right, we have both linebackers blitzing. Go back to the beginning. Right. Go back a little bit. Great job by the back again, Ken. Yes, definitely. Great job. Great job by the back again. Great job by the black. So here we go right here. You got We got five linemen in the back end. Right, we got a tight end up top. Back scans. You got one linebacker that the, your front side Sam pulls out. Great job by the back picking that up. It's a it's a fairly clean pocket. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly clean pocket. It's a fairly clean pocket. Right. So if I'm and and what what Jay what Jay what Daniels decides to do right here is he's trying to hit a back shoulder. He's trying to hit a back shoulder throw, and I think he really got sped up by the backs blitzing and the protection. Because we're picked up right here. We're in what? We're in a seven-man protection right here. Nah, that's six. Six-man protection. Mm -hmm. Five. I thought we had a tight end over there at the end, at the it's, top it's right. It's three by one. You got a receiver at the top. Yeah, you can't see him? Yeah, have receiver at the top. Yeah. You can't see him? Nah. -uh. Oh, okay, okay, no, okay. You see the defender, though. Yeah, you see the defender. Yep, yeah, you're right. We're in a three by Yep, you're 100%. <laughs> six-man <laughs> protection. Back scans beautifully. You got the linebacker that doesn't come and pick and drops out. So we, we you actually have both linebackers drop out. So we're picked up here. We should be picked up here. Now, what you would like to see, go back. What you would like to see here is him simply step up in the pocket, right? Because when you blitz and you pull these guys out, if you see, go back to the beginning, you will see that the two linebackers are really at defense alignment's depth, right? Mm -hmm. They're at defense alignment's depth. So anything you want to throw across the middle of the field, any crossing route of that sort, because we're picked up here, Kev. Run it. And honestly, the back shoulder is, is, is a good idea. Perfect throw. It's a good idea. It's but it has idea. to be a perfect that's throw. That's the only thing. Yeah, it has that, to that, be That's the throw. only thing about that back shoulder throw. It, has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. And the thing about it, bro, like the back shoulder throw, it's all about the pace and the tempo of it. The pace and the tempo of the throw and where your location. High release, inside back cor inside of the inside corner of the receiver's helmet. You understand? So he's going up the field, and this is the receiver on the back side. You want to throw inside here. Almost like a uh, play side of the defender's helmet on the left side. If you're going to the right, the right side. Um, and a high ball, what we call a number two ball, right? Not a rainbow, not a fast ball, which is a number one, but a number two care, intermediate, nice pace, so your receiver could see it and react at the same time, but just not getting on them, you know what right. I mean? That's a terrible, that's not, a, that's not, I'm sure that's not what they practice. But I think this, the, the, them speeding up the blitz and then pulling out sped him up. Yeah. Timing. Terrible. Timing. That, that route looked like receiving the quarterback wasn't on the same page. Yep, Terrible. Exactly. Terrible. Terrible. And, it, and then the thing is, even throw that shit like a comeback. You know what I mean? If you really want to just slow it down, throw that comeback. I can't see the other side. What we in? Oh, we got two. We got tight ends uh, here. Three by one. No, three by one again. Three no, it's one. not three by one. That's no receiver at the top. It's two tight ends. Got you. And two to the side. So you got uh, a got nub you, got on you, that got side. Yeah. Run formation. So this is this is actually one of the most, one of the positive run plays of the game. We did run the ball pretty if well. I'm not season. mistaken. That's one of the runs he's like the one he scored on. On the one that on ain't the, it, it, but that's the same. Yeah. It's the same yeah. formation. Look like. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this was a big formation in the run game for them for this game. Right. Had to be. This was, yeah, this was a big formation for them. How do you feel about them using the freshman tight end more, like, in the blocking game? Because I know you, once you get to, you know, Taylor. college is different. Yeah, college is different from blocking in high school because you do have smaller DNs or well, smaller defensive linemen. And now you got him blocking SEC defensive linemen. And sometimes it, it goes south for you. Yeah, it's well, going to go south, but you got to block. It's you gotta them, do it. It's they one of the things in. I guess they don't have confidence in the other guys. Um and they got a lot of confidence in him. Um mm-hmm. his effort that he probably gives them pra- practice gives them confidence. But at the same time, it, there's something for it it may be bad now for us, but I haven't seen anything yet that has said it's been bad. But yeah. it may be bad going forward for us. But later on in his career it's, oh, gonna, it's gonna be, be very good. beneficial. He, uh, he a freshman. Yeah, for getting those reps. Talk, 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 talk to me about this run play right here, Kev. Rewind to the beginning. Rewind to the beginning, T. Looks like slow a it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Yeah, bring it to the beginning and then put it in slow motion. Yeah, looks like an inside zone flash play with the t- with the tight end, the off tight end. So they flashing the tight end across to bring the, to to slow the linebacker down. What what they bring the tight end across, or is that to for the end to step down? I think, and then the we t- to seal him. What we accustomed to is the tight end is flashes for the outside defender to freeze him. Yeah, not to freeze him, but he's he's blocking him. Gotcha. Okay. He's blocking him. Okay. And the running back just got to read. He got to read that, that that first down lineman. Um, read his read the guards block and. Reezy goes outside. So this a, is a great read. Then. Yeah, it's a really good read. Really yeah. good read. Get your shoulder pass down. Get us four. Get us four or five yards. Who we got on the carry? Armani Goodwin. Armani Goodwin. What type of back eight. is he, he carry? Is he uh, very explosive? Uh, tough. Like one thing I did know how tough this kid was. Um, small. He's not tall. He's not real big, but he is strong. But he's tough. Sounds like you're talking see, about yourself. Keep, keep <laughs> oh, he's t- he, like a couple of weeks ago a- after the game, I seen him on campus, and I was like, "Man, hey, bro, they had one play in the game that I seen that I know you should have hit that and like probably scored." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Coach, man, I know, but you told me my hamstring wasn't feeling too good, so I didn't want to try to explode and then pop my hamstring." Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, okay, now nah, you're here. learning. Yeah. You're learning, you understand it. Because like I told him, if you got a hurt hamstring, you can't still play in a game with it. Yeah. You just got to understand and know that you can't accelerate, explode, burst, do certain things, but you can be effective. But this game, I watched him and I'm like, oh yeah, that's that burst I know. That's that burst that, that I recruited. Yeah, he looked healthy. Just yes, like, yes. The, the, the yes. first couple of games, he kind of looked a little like right, right. a step slow. But that's maybe. him in general as a person. Big second guesser. He second guesses himself, mm. but uh, he has the ability. Trust me. Uh, he, he, was a, he was a big surprise in his freshman year camp for us. Can, is, he, is he the type of guy that, like, you think gets better as he gets more carries? Who doesn't? I mean, who, I don't know. I, you the no, best. I'm just saying, who doesn't get better as they get more comfortable? Yeah, true. As they get more comfortable, as they get more touches. But you know how? But you know how? Like some backs, they wear down. Like some backs, they you know they get tired. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, nah, you, he ain't. Not him. Okay, nah, yeah, that's not. what I'm saying. Like, not him. Because I think like Leonard. I think Fournette's like that kind of back. Yeah, like, more, he, more carries. Like, 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 like one. Right. Like his thing is as he get in the fourth quarter. You He's know what like, I mean? When right, guys man. are worn down nah, type of thing. Look at so that's what, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but said, let, but let. you know how like some backs, you get tired as you right. go on or you get just the mental of the game. Like, you know, and I know he's young, but you've been with him. You know. You already know. Definitely. He's, that he's not a bruiser. Right. But he's a, like, if he see that thing, he's going to get he it. He's going to get it. And. Just because he's small, don't think he's going to try to run away from you. Yeah. He's going to lower it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he explosive. He lowered his shoulder. Right? And he gave the defender, like, he he finished the play right here. I, I could just remember one day we was doing contact. blitz protection, one-on-one blitz protection with the linebackers. And for a freshman yeah. running back to actually, like, hit the linebacker in the mouth and not be scared, that that showed me something. That let me know something. What we got running the next one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, run it. Cause the running game, honestly, in the second half, is what brought LSU back. 
This was like this right. with Jaden too. So look, so yeah, we got two by two. Yeah. Right we got two by two, rapid yeah. fire, two by two hole, freeze right there. Two by two. Back on the left. Right. Boom. Run it. Bliss coming to the right. Run it. Slow. Stop. You got blitz off the right side, right? Yeah, you got two coming off the right. I'm going to go back for you. Go back for me. Go back. Go all the way back. Yeah, you got two coming out. You got two coming. So, now, just from a protection standpoint, right, what... I, I would be used to in this situation was was a dummy a dummy go go dummy something to see where they coming from right mm-hmm. right care of no and so now once I do that and see they declare right because they was in it they, they shifted quick a lot. quick 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 so you got three down linemen three linebackers mm-hmm. right one up here to the you got the Sam and the Mike up here to your top left and you got your wheel out here. He's actually bossed over to, inside right. I'm not. I'm not concerned about what happened to the. What happened to the? Nah, to the oh, I'm not concerned about the guy. Two guys over the slot. I know they're locked in. Right. Right. So right here as a quarterback, I don't know what the protection is, right? But I'm gonna redirect this protection, right? I'm gonna call my guy here in the middle. Uh, that's right on the numbers, my Mike linebacker. Right here. Mm-hmm. That's the call. Let me let me say that again. That's the call. That's probably in the in the in the in the huddle, right? That's the call. That's probably in the huddle. Would you say, Kev? The probably so. Probably so. Now I'm a point to this I wheel over here to the right, From my hand. right there, and the guy in the slot. To either that strong safe that safety just because of how low he is, mm-hmm. right, right. Yeah, well, so that's ten yards, right. So either one of those two come, we gonna side adjust. Meaning the wide receiver and I in the slot right there. Point to him, put the arrow on that slot receiver right there. He's either gonna run a slant. I don't know what the side adjust is for them. Either a slant or out, whatever it may be, right. And I'm gonna come back up top, and I'm gonna point to these guys up top. But now it shows now. That's they, exactly they, right. Now it shows right before the ball is snapped. Who's coming. Who's coming. Right. Where, who is going. So now you got to have. That, that's like I try to tell a lot of guys. That's where film study comes in. 100%. When that quick flash show comes in your face, right before the snap of the ball, you got to understand and Go know back. what's coming. Go back. Go back to the beginning. 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 Let me show you something right quick. Similar to what Kev talking about. Go back to the stop. So what Kev talking about is <coughs> knowing as a quarterback, right? Me and Kev just talk what should be coming. Right. Right? Is what exactly we talk. But if I'm studying, right, and I see this alignment, I know he's not coming up top. Right? I know he's not coming. So you know what I'm gonna do now as a quarterback, and this is where Jaden Daniels shouldn't know this. If he did, it'd be a plus. Your first couple games, first year getting into the offense, you don't know this. I'm going to redirect that mic and bring that back over. Right. You understand? Now my mic linebacker is over. Now my back is on my right side. Right? And I'm protected. You got me? So slow, go ahead and run it slow. Pause it. Boom. So I've redirected my mic over to right there. No, not him. Go back. Go down. Right there. So now the back, the line knows that's the mic linebacker. The line is responsible for the down lineman and my mic, right? And my back now, instead of this guy on this side, my back now is responsible for my Sam and my safety right. who aren't coming. We picked up because right. the only person that comes is the Sam and the Mike. So we're picked up. And that's where we, you know, you're not going to get there now. But that's where eventually after a couple games you want to see that happen. And it's, and, and, I, and I wouldn't even say even a couple games, Kev, because shit, we wait, know how long wait, shit hold, like hold that takes. You said 
This was your mic, right? Mike didn't come. Correct. He Correct. Dropped. Correct. So, you so now he's kicking out. He's picking up the Sam. Yeah. Correct. All right. If both of them came, we side adjust. Mm -hmm. Both of them didn't come. But if if my mic was the first one, I would be side adjusting automatically. Right. But now I switched my protection and brought my back over so I'm protected. Yeah. Now I could throw some shit down the field and they thinking that their blitz is going to get to me, but I've I, I, they playing checkers and I'm playing chess. I don't right. him over. The back right. picking up the safety. There now. you yeah. go. The back. I mean, he picked him up. He just. I mean, if he was on the other side, he probably would have picked him up a little. Early. Well, it it doesn't matter. It's what you do as a quarterback to get him in the best position yeah. to pick up to make the play more successful. Yeah, I don't want him scanning. Mm -hmm. I know where it's coming from. I'm gonna put his ass over there so you already in position to pick it up because I know where you're coming from. Again, we don't know what they're being coached. That's true. We don't know how they're being coached. The quarterback has that leeway to bring that back over. You know, we, we don't know that. We don't know that. Well, I think that's something you get to. I don't think he knows right, it. Right, right, right. I just right. think it's something that, you know what I mean, like in the evolution of playing a position. Oh, definitely. Even <laughs> if they don't tell you. Yeah. You know, just like we was talking. The other day, we was chilling, and I was telling him, about, telling Kev about when I the light went off for me, when I knew, when Jimbo was cussing me out. Yeah, you're right, Jimbo. I should know that shit. And it was a third down play against fucking Tennessee, and it was third and five, and I had two by two, two meaning two receivers on both sides. I had mirrored routes on both sides. It was a go on the outside and outs on the inside. It was third and five. I had Josh Reed in the slot to my right, Jarrell Myers to my left. I got the first down, but I threw to the field side. Yeah. Which was fucking bullshit. Dangerous. Dangerous. And that's when, for me, it, went, it, it, it clicked like, okay, this is what he means by being a coach on the field. And so for Jaden and whoever comes after him, whoever the quarterback is, that's what I mean by like, you know, when it goes off for you and you click and you know where to go exactly, you such as you care, I'm talking about him, just you ain't even thinking about that side when you catch and you know you got the hitch, you're right. going to throw the hitch. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's, that's the maturation of a quarterback. And I'm not going to chastise this jit three games in the season, knew all this stuff that's going on, dealing with everything. I think he's done a good job thus far. Ooh, if he would have got that protection, the he's running back. He's done his thing. But that's the what I'm saying. Missed. He missed. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. He, he's it's right. done what he's had Absolutely. to do yeah. for LSU to win football games. 100%. That's nothing, you know, nothing yeah. to fault him at all. And he ain't turned Not the ball over yet. True. That's that, one that's and that's one thing key. as a quarterback. That's the, 100%. And I think that's that's 100%. But I'm starting to think that might be why he doesn't push the ball as much because well, he doesn't want to turn the ball. Well, I don't think he like, pushed the ball as much cuz he's not that comfortable. comfortable like Kev pointed out with the guys yet and also with the system yet cuz let me tell you something, dog. I don't give a shit what nobody say about quarterbacks. You always want to throw that bitch deep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah especially yeah. if you got somebody that can run. You got dogs, and man. you got a couple of them that can run. You always want to throw it deep. You, <laughs> you know what I'm like saying? Five or six of them. That That's what run. I'm saying. So it ain't the fact that he don't want to do it. It's just that we're not there yet. Yeah, yeah, run it. But on this play, I run it right Kayshawn here. Sean came open at the end, but it, I mean, the running back he got missed, flushed. So he had to flush. Yeah. He got flushed. He got flushed. He got flushed. And he got it off to the running back. Yeah. Best friend. If I'm not the, if I'm not mistaken, I think the running back should have blocked that guy. <laughs> he should. He missed him. Yeah, I don't that's think what Stu was saying. He whiffed on it. I don't think he seen him until late. Yeah, yeah. If and he, that's what happened and when he scraped him. Right, right, right. See, right, right. if he didn't right. have he to came scan, from the left, and the left side, he had to scan. You had, you had a double team on the. Back that's what side. we right, talking right, about. Right. If he didn't have to scan and was in place, that's a complete. We don't know what happens. They, they really just sent an overload blitz. Right. That's why you redirect it. Yeah. If he was on the other side, that's he, what I'm he picked about. that up quick. That's why that's I say what I'm that's why I'm asking if he if he put him on the other side, is it because he pick him up quicker? Yes. And he yeah. get that. Well it's not well, like it's him. not because he picks him up quick, it's because it's what it dictates for you to do as a quarterback. Yeah. That is the next like once you see that and you identify that the blitz is not coming from this side, it's coming from the other side, mm -hmm. and you could pick and you could redirect the mic and pick everybody up. That's just what you do in your process. You know you, what I'm saying? Because you can see, like, right here, it just opened up a hole because he's scanning. 
And you got your right tackle. And not just that, it's it's momentum. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, yeah, he did a good job. He just missed it. He he he. Yeah, he like you said, Kev, he, he saw it late. Out. He, was he was about, about to get out. out. He was about coming. to get out. Yeah, saw him coming. He was huh? about to get out. Yeah, I he remember saw him this. coming. He saw him coming late. Yeah, but for like like we said, like for the quarterback, if you see that early that that's Bring coming and you move him over, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know you have routes that's going to take time. That you need time. That's why you bring him over. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. And th- like most of the time, when you're doing that, you're running on man to man coverage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be holes in the defense. This is like a, a, a. It's not. Is it man? Because I mean, you got the. Well, it's a, nah, nah, it's, it's not man. It's zone, it's zone coverage. Zone, right. Yeah, yeah look at the it. look at the cornerback up top. He's sloughing off trying yeah. to get to the corner route. But this is what I'm saying. All you gotta do is step up in the pocket and you pop this hitch route and you going out the gate. And that's where they have to get to. You have to know where you I always tell my guys, the guys that I coach, my quarterbacks, know who your friendly guys are. You know how they say friendly, friendly? My friendly guys are always my quarterbacks and my short slot receivers. Whoever's the that was a Excuse na- me, my running back. That was a natural reaction right there, though, by Jaden. Yeah, like, I think so. Knowing, yeah. knowing that your back was supposed to pick that guy up. Correct. And he's free. And you see Knowing where your back at. And you see and him And getting the ball. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Because once he slipped, he didn't miss. Right, so right, So ain't nobody right, on him. Right, right, right. No, 100%. Yeah. Yo, know, your back is, no, no. Your back and now in new today's football, your hybrid tight ends or right. your slot, they're your mismatches all the doggone time. I always was to find the back, bro. I'm going to find that back. Always. That was my big thing. I'm going to find that damn back. Run it. She said, you getting the hang of that thing, ain't you? We got a receiver up top. Look yeah. like it. Three by, three by one. Yeah. You know, the only thing I want to see us improve in, man, is the short short passing game, man. We got to be able to improve in the short passing game when we start going into this monster SEC season. You know, after New Mexico, shit. New Mexico? Yeah, New Mexico. It was a sack. And see, I think they re- that same bring, look like bring that it same back, bring looks. it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. It is the same one, look like. Same look, bring it back. Let me see. Mm-hmm. They got three the down line. Hold on, three down linemen, three linebackers. Now, what you, what I want y'all to pay attention to is how low the safety is to the top over this walk down. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 linebacker on the edge. Now it's there we down. go. It's four down rule. It's four down. Yeah, yeah, it's four down. It's four down. Four down line? They got the they got one of the line. The guy lined up outside oh, it's four. the defensive yeah. end is a mic backer. Mic. That's right. Four down. Yeah, you good. Oh, you got a cross. Yes. Bring it back. Bring it back. We didn't pick the cross up. You got a cross with the two linebackers. Oh. Uh, and then the end drop. Yeah. He he came. To the place out, yeah, yeah, he came and then dropped. Well, he took the. That's the that's, whole. That's the whole key up. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead, Kev. That's that's the whole of the the uh, offensive lineman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just for a couple of steps, so he don't yep. fall into that yep. linebacker that just got the sack. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yep. And you know when you have a when you have a young offensive line, and you starting two offensive tackles. What their game plan was early was to put the pressure on those guys. So you saw the ET stunt in tackle. You saw the, the stunt with the Mike and the Sam, and you saw them crossing. Like Kev just pointed out, you saw the outside defensive end engage with the tackle to disrupt him so he doesn't see that stunt coming through with the two. And, hey, they did a good job early, man. They did a good job. The and there's nothing you can do about this. The one. only thing I want to know is if it's three by one, 60 protection, the back probably has the wheel. Yep. I, the wheel cross first. Yeah. So normal space. Wash him down. Normal spaces, the lineman would take the wheel mm-hmm. and then we pick up the mic. Mm-hmm. Wheel wash him down, you scan over the top. Yeah. Taylor in motion. Three by one, bam. This the big ball run? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's oh, the big boy. Oh, yeah, this is the big boy run. That's a big boy run. For real. Yeah, I had Bring to text. Bring back to the beginning. I had to text him after this one. <laughs> hey, go back to the beginning. Formation. You got a... Uh, now, you what motion you... motion to a three-by-one. Start Four. right up. So, well, three-by-one so with the tight end. What we have right here, yeah, three-by-one, you got a nub tight end? You got two tight ends in the game. Yeah, you got one right here. 
Taylor. Yeah, one motion, across, yeah, one motion yeah. across though. One motion yeah. across. Yeah, one motion across. Yeah. Okay, so we got a nub tight end though. Right. right we end right. up in a nub. Right. Right. Okay. right, right I right. see what you're saying. We, yeah, nub, we like. motion. We got a nub tight right, end. Right. Right. So what we have here? Okay, we got Taylor motion. Across. Boom. Stop it. So we in a nub tight end right here. Stop it. So we in a nub tight end right here. The look. We gotta stop it. Go back to the beginning. Boom. Stop right there for me. Okay. Play side. Run side, nub tight inside. We got a one technique. Put yep. that cursor on that boy in that gap. By him. In that gap, yep. right there. You got a one technique, right? Mm -hmm. You got what we got outside right here. You got about a seven technique outside right here by this end, and you got this back. That's a Sam. No, that's the mic. You got the mic linebacker right behind him. Right Right there. Right. He not be, yeah, that's is the that, Mike linebacker. Is, is that the? It doesn't matter in the front. Yeah, I see in the scheme saying. of the yeah, front. The way, the way, yeah, where he's lined up, mm -hmm. Kel. He lined up as a linebacker. He's exactly right. Oh, so, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Kel. The slot up top. The slot, the slot up top. So the Mike is actually in the middle of the field. That's the Sam backer. That's the cornerback. That's the it's a three by one. We got another. It it gets to a three by one. Yeah, he motion. They After motion the motion, it goes to a three by one. Gotcha. You gotta see how, they, how we started. This what we this what we started doing. Go ahead. And then he like shifted him. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the slot is gonna be to the top where the slot receiver is, because it's it's, it's too tight in to the bottom. Stop. 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 Hold back. Okay. Stop right there. So he's telling me the Sam is outside the slot. The slot is the Sam. Yes. And the That's mic. The nickel. That's the nickel. Right, yep. right, right. And the mic is here basically right. on the hash. Right. And down here over the, behind that's the end behind the end, stack behind him. Right. That's the wheel. That's the wheel. But honestly Strong speaking, honestly speaking, how it is, no, how would the, the formation yeah. started? No, because it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. How Absolutely. the formation started, the slot receiver is, the Absolutely. slot defender is actually the wheel. Absolutely. Because they had the double tight ends. Absolutely. So now we go from strong to weak. Right, right, right. right. 100%. 100%. And go back. And so you have, go back, go back, go back. Great fit. Look like it's man on man. Right. Yeah, man go back, on go man. Go back to the yeah. beginning. Go back. Go back. Go back to the very beginning. I just want to show the guard. It looked like an RPO. Because you got. Cause, well, it was run all the way. Yeah, but did you see it the type? Watch the you got, you got the. Go back to the beginning. You got. Go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning. I just want to show the guard. Because you got the one technique. Him with the combo block mm -hmm. going up. and going being down. Able, That's why I said it's run all the way. And you can confirm this, Kev. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. It, it, but it, but you see what the tight end doing? You see what I'm saying about RPO? Yes, but, yeah, but understand a, this. It's it, difficult it's, for him to run an RPO a, with his back facing yeah, I those three receivers. Yeah. And I'm not it, saying it can't be done, but, but, but it's, it's hard. It's, it's difficult. Because he got to turn. But what you got to understand is even if it's an RPO, in a certain look, it's run. Yeah. I see you understand what, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. It, the, 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 the concept could be RPO, mm -hmm. but in certain fits and certain uh, fronts, we letting that bitch ride. Yeah, it's run all the I'm way. Giving it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just, yeah, 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 all the way. And just finished the run. Hell yeah. And he finished like a big dog. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. Mm. That's how you finish. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a finisher right there. Like I said, I had to text him after the game to him. I didn't know you had that big dog in you. <laughs> you had that big dog in you. <laughs> That's a big dog run right there, bro. Goodness gracious. And he got a little height. It's just the end zone view. End zone copy. You're going to see it right here with the guard. Boom, guard comes down. He tried Ooh. to get up, but he bossed him out that hole. Hey, that was a great job by that tight end to backside to even get a hat on him and push him across. And he hit that hole. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, he hit that hole at 13, boy. Mm. Pressure. And that's where Goodness it's gracious. Yeah, We're going to take a little break, bro. Come back. Hey, hey, 
That's exactly how you want to finish a run. We're going to take a little break. We're going to come back, get into some hot topics. Wake, hot my, topics wake, wake my people up on the other side right topics. here. You know what I'm saying? OP. <laughs> See what it's about. We're going to be back on what my dog Zet. Brian Fetch, I see you, baby. Appreciate you. See you. Hot topics, dog. How you feeling? Hot man? topics. Let's get into that right now. What we talking about right now is, you know, myself, I played for uh, Coach Jimbo Fisher, and I also played for Coach Nick Saban um, at the hot twilight of my years at LSU, uh, transferring from Coach Jerry DiNardo. And... I, I've spoken about this a couple times. We got to turn the air up down in here, though. Oh, damn. Um, I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with, with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody knows Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher. Right, so for so for for Coach Saban to excuse me to go into the 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 kind of rant that he did, but I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the the name calling part. I think somebody might have slipped slipped him a Mickey or or, or, or slipped him something uh, before he before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and, 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 and some uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level for him to call them guys, and especially for him to call them guys out after, dog. Coach Saban been winning the, the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without – the under-the-table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting-wise and uh, coaching-wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parity and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parity is happening. You know what I mean? Parity is happening when it comes to the Texas A&Ms, the, 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 the Clemsons, the, the, the uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack. And now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL. And the question, and that's why I said when he was at that at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was how are you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money. You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know, listen, these guys, the reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after, and they are edge rushers and they are defensive players. It's because they got more money. It's because they offer these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checks books and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle of trying to, like you said, get some kind of parity for the NCAA or the federal government, whoever the hell, to come in and regulate what they're doing with the money. I say this, man, you better catch up. So, so well, I got to tell you yeah, what happened. So, so. Man, it's a when they play that song, that fight song, man. You know, we only play that fight song in the fourth quarter and the start of the game. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it was a time where they were trying to rally us and we were getting our ass destroyed. Yeah, it was it was 13 that and a half time. The band played the fight song in the second quarter. Show like did at a time show did. It, it man, absolutely that did. goddamn song got in my bones, and I started having a goddamn out of body experience. <laughs> and I told Coach Saban was walking, and I told Coach Saban, Coach, I want to play. And he looked at me and said, Why don't you step behind me? Like <laughs> The coach is the most important play in this whole thing with these guys because one is new offenses, then guys are younger, guys are coming from different systems, coming from different everywhere. So the one that, that's the other fact that's going to come into this. Whoever picks this shit up the fastest, whoever picks this it's up It's an even where, playing field. Yeah, 100%. Even playing field because you talk about Miles Brennan having experience. He's had, what, four different coordinators in four years? Yeah, but that helps him also. Uh, yeah, because that's <laughs> yeah. just different terminology at that point. I've seen it all. 
Yeah. Uh, bring back the Joe Brady one. That one worked. That one, that one seemed to work. Yeah, you adapt, man. You adapt. You adapt to it. And and Nussmeyer, by him coming, his dad being a coach and coming from um, that pedigree and that background, this is also something that he should be comfortable with. I know he's young, but learning different terminology, um, concepts are basically the same. It's just different know, verbiage. Curl, flat is curl, flat. Goals is goals. You know what I mean? It's just different terminology. So that type of thing for them should get picked up pretty easily um, from – Nuss, Meyer, from all those guys. All those guys are smart guys. Miles, all those guys. They should pick that up pretty, pretty swiftly. But Nuss, Meyer's advantage in this whole thing is, I mean, without a doubt, his legs. Without a doubt, his confidence. You know, without a doubt, his ability. And he actually reads defenses pretty good right now for the stage that he is in in his young, young, young career. He picks up defenses and goes to the right part, right place with the ball pretty good. His problem is getting them feet in line all the time or going there because he's so athletic. You know what I mean? So sometimes he just relies strictly on that quick twitch and getting that ball out, but he has to get his feet lined up. And also with him, he has to work on that accuracy, accuracy as well. <laughs> so, see, if, 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 if he's going to come out and do that every time, well, now, and now come back and backtrack and try to call Jimbo, you know, that I talked to Jimbo personally about this, and their friendship was a friendship that was – more uh, professional, yeah, you know what I mean? Professional, uh, not we're going to spend time in the off season and with our families and all that bullshit. It was, you know, very professional. You coach for me, we learn from each other, that type of thing. We know each other's bullshit also. I know your bullshit, you know mine. So why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? Why would you open up that can when now they're going to dig into your shit? So now they're going to dig into all the bullshit. Guys could come out that's disgruntled with you, could come out and say all kind of bullshit. Guys that you just offered that bag to that didn't take it and went somewhere else and took the other bag, now they could come out and say, you know what I mean? It's just all that shit. So why not keep it? Keep 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 all that in house. In a wreck, Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is ready to go to work for you. Come meet your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case and connect you with your attorney and paralegal. That's us, your legal team. Thanks. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. I'm your settlements and disbursement manager, and I'm here to get you paid on time. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Put our team to work today. Just call us. Get it done! Do you suffer from chronic dehydration? Are you looking to improve your athletic performance and you need to get over and see our friends over at GoFlow IV? They're located on Jefferson Highway. Easy to find them online at geauxflowiv.com. Make sure and use the promo code Jordy Collada Show. If you do, they'll take 15% off of your initial visit. Check them out online, geauxflowiv.com. In a wreck. Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is ready to go to work for you. Come meet your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case and connect you with your attorney and paralegal. That's us, your legal team. Thanks. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. I'm your settlements and disbursement manager, and I'm here to get you paid on time. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Put our team to work today. Just call us. Get it done. I remember going to the Tennessee camp. Oh, this and, is a great story. And I had locked everybody up. Yeah. Like, literally, I was licking my chops. Yeah. And I'm like, yo. Jarvis and Adele were there, right? Everybody was there. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm, all y'all get in line. Like, everybody, come on. I'm going to go <laughs> I'm getting rep. back in line. I'm going to go rep after rep. And right. then it really kind of turned into a show where none of the right. DBs wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> none of the receivers wanted to go. It was literally, then it turned to me and Jarvis. Right. Just one-on-one. -on -one, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh <laughs> you know, whenever, whenever Tyra Matthews ready for that challenge, this is something that he's talking about out loud. Now. Yes, he's speaking I mean, into we, existence. We, we will, we will talk to him about this this afternoon. Um, so, I mean, we'll ask him how real this stuff is. But he's just in the way that I know him, and I, you know, like I said, we we've, we've got a relationship that's lasted about ten years from covering, you know, media member to athlete, and um, you know, we're not good friends by any means, but I feel like I know him a little bit. Um, He's not saying stuff like that without 
really being serious about it. You know what I mean? If he's mm-hmm. thinking that right now and with the, the, the affirmative tone that he is speaking that with, like, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. You he's know not I mean? bluffing. Really, no. I mean, he's, he's, if this is something that he really wants, he'd be great at it. He would be a great coach. He would be a mm-hmm. great motivator. topics dog how you feeling hot man? topics let's get into that right now what we talking about right now is you know myself i played for uh coach jimbo fisher and i also played for coach nick saban um at the hot twilight of my years at lsu uh transferring from coach jerry Donardo. and I, i've spoken about this a couple times we gotta turn the air up down in here dog damn um I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody know Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for so for for Coach Saban to, excuse me, to go into the 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 kind of rant that he did. But I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the, the name calling part, I think somebody might have slipped, slipped him a Mickey or, 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 or slipped him something uh, before, he, before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and, 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 and some... Uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level for him to call them guys and especially for him to call them guys out after dog. Coach Saban been winning the the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without the under the table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting wise and uh, coaching wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parody and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parody is happening. You know what I mean? Parody is happening when it comes to the Texas A&Ms, the, 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 the Clemsons, the, the, the uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack. And now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL. The, and, and the question, and that's why I said when he was at, that, at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was a, how you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money. You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know, listen, these guys, the reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after and they are edge rushers and they are defensive players, it's because they got more money. It's because they offered these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checkbooks and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle of trying to, like you said, get some kind of parity for the NCAA or the federal government, whoever the hell, to come in and regulate what they're doing with the money. I say this, man, you better catch up. <laughs> so, see it. If 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 he's gonna come out and do that every time, well now and now come back and backtrack and try to call Jimbo. You know that I talked to Jimbo personally about this, and their friendship was a friendship that was more uh, professional. Yeah, you know what I mean? Professional. Uh, not we gonna spend time in the off season and with our families and all that bullshit. It was. You know, very professional. You coach for me. We learn from each other, that type of thing. We know each other's bullshit also. I know your bullshit, you know mine. So why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? Why would you open up that can when now they're going to dig into your shit? So now they're going to dig into all the bullshit. Guys could come out that's disgruntled with you, could come out and say all kind of bullshit. Guys that you just offered that bag to that didn't take it and went somewhere else and took the other bag. Now they could come out and say, you know what I mean? It's just all that shit. So why not keep it, keep, keep, keep all that in house.
Addict. Like Craftmatic. Oh, you freestyling right now. Yeah, Watch out boy, now. Listen. Sounding like a old boy and Snoop on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, with the Corona? Yes. Yeah, with the Corona. With the corona. Slim. <laughs> hey, I want to come back and give a shout out to Fletcher Payne. Been rocking with me from the beginning. Even when I was on another show that was rocking with me. So shout out to my boy Fletcher. He from down there, your neck of the wood, Kevin Lafayette. For sure, for sure. Shout out to my man David Richards, man, with Richards Builders. My guy, Tiger Dave. That's what they call him, okay? Tiger Dave. You remember Tiger Todd that was over there in whatever? No, that shit over there in Tigerland and changed names so many times. I can't remember what the fuck the name was when I was in school, but I don't know what it is now, but. Shout out to my man, man, David Richards. Richards Builders, Cypress Hemp. I get that check in. We're waiting on your check. Get that check in, Cypress Hemp. Stop playing with me, man. Get that check in. <laughs> We're coming back. We're going to have a new sponsor here coming on shortly, man, to sponsor j segment of, um, um, what's your segment called? Hot Topic. <laughs> Hot topic. What we got on hot topics? Eh? We got on hot topics. So, like the breaking news for today was the Boston Celtics coach Ime Udoka oh, Lord. facing disciplinary actions for um, basically having like a relationship with one of the female workers there and cheating on the along. I'm about to say, get to, get to, get to the nitty gritty. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Get to why we bring this boy up. We're not bringing him up just because he the Celtics coach. No, 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 no. What? What? Huh? What you say? Nothing. What? What you just said? I she didn't said say everybody nothing. be cheating. Why did you everybody say don't cheat. No. Everybody, everybody don't everybody. fucking that's cheat. That's why I didn't want to repeat myself because I was like, you know what? You got some grown men in the everybody building. Cheat. That's not all the way true. Right. Every, everybody don't cheat. Uh, um, but the reason we bring this up, why we bring it up though, Jay, we're not bringing this up because I don't even know who he is. <laughs> You, you know who he is. You I know mean, who he is. Well, well, what I mean by that, Kev, is like, <laughs> I don't know who he is. I know he the coach for the Celtics. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But why we bringing him up is because he, my shit just went out, dog. Oh, I'm back. Why we bringing him up is because he's dating Nia Long. And, and that's no, why. That's his right? wife. I was about to say dating. Oh, they married? Oh. That's his wife. Dating no, Mike and marriage. I thought they was just like, engaged. Me too. I didn't know they were married. Let me see. Let me look. Uh, uh, come on it now, don't Stu. matter if they marry or engaged. Get that, get, get that verified. Get that verified. Op got to verify that they was not married. They're engaged. But that, hold on. Op. Op checking but, y'all right but, now. But, but they but. said they said before he had the affair. They said they were separated. Like they're oh. mutually like separated. But he still like did it with like a. She might have found out. Yeah, and it was with a staff member. Either way, it's he wrong. <laughs> it's unprofessional. Very it unprofessional. is OP. You are one hundred percent correct. On the finals run too. That's when it happened. Yeah. Damn. And he had her out there too. She was at the game. That boy was having some fun. That was who said Rob. She was my man. Rob, 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 Rob. What did he say? That boy was having fun. Kids. <laughs> these kids. Jordan Rob four nine though. That man we had. We quoting Rob four nine right now. Doing all that man. That boy was. He wrong for that man. He, he wrong. is wrong for that. But he wrong. She know that he wrong for that. But this is the other thing that's so crazy though, dog. Is like we wouldn't know about this shit if he wasn't the coach. Or if you went with Neil Long. That too. <laughs> that too. You should know that. No, it still might have happened just because of everything with Title Nine and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that is true, yeah. Because it was a co-worker. Yes, yes. It was a co-worker. And that's why it's being really, like, blown up. So if he wasn't, like, married or in a relationship, they probably wouldn't have cared. It's Title Nine. I care, right. It's Title Nine. Well, it's something like Title Nine. Yeah, something know, like That's Title what nine. it is. But yeah, it's the unprofessionalism in the workplace. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot go and have sexual relations with a coworker in the workplace in the NBA. And not 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 look anywhere, the, <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> in the NBA. <laughs> look, my thing fell out. I just go back 
I just think you need to stop moving as much as I'm you are. I'm not moving that yeah. much though. What the fuck is wrong with this shit? I gotta hold it up and all that joint. He gotta give me a wireless mic, dog. You can hear me, Stu? Mm hmm. Yeah, I give me a wireless mic, dog. I ain't with this fucking hey, equipment. At shit. this point right now, Stu, not worry about you. <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you. I got you clear. Loud and clear. No, Stu gotta be on the P's and Q's for the rest of the night, dog. I got you. You got it? Yeah, Your yeah. Eye, you got that one eye on him? He gotta be on the fucking P's and Q's for <laughs> And TJ, get off your phone, TJ. What you doing? Working. Need them Pringles alone, TJ. <laughs> you done had like three. Three Pringles. That's another Chatt- one. What is that? Cheddar sour cream? That's another one? No, I think that's the that's the first, same that's the first one. one? No, that's the second one. Oh. Now hey, y- 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 y'all got a mini trash can over there. there. Hey, chill out, chill out. Chill out, chill out. <laughs> 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 chill out. <laughs> Motherfucker got a whole snack machine over there to my chill out. What else we got, Jay? Uh, Ben so, Simmons was trending oh, today Jesus. in the uh, media. He, he was said, what? He was trending today on Twitter in the media. Basically, he who's uh podcast he went on, on JJ Reddick's podcast. Yeah. Oh. And he was talking God. about how it seems like everyone is trying to like mess with him, and he's been getting fined for not lifting Jesus weights, Christ. but physically he said he's the strongest guy on the team. And then he said people in Philly just so he admits to not working out. Yeah, I guess. And that people in Philly, what I mean, he to said cut people you in off. Philly this guy here, just want to have something to say about anything, literally everything. I post a picture of a car or a dog. I got reported saying he should be in a gym. Who's he with now? I was about to say who? Brooklyn. Yes. Yeah, the Nets. He's with Brooklyn. Yes. And then he was talking about how he still feels like he a part of Philly still, but he feels like he is, or he. But you wasn't even keep... playing. He ain't never playing. So why do you feel like you were still in Philly? Listen, man. Like we talked, Ben Simmons has like had an agenda since he came to LSU. One year, one and done, get up out, go to the league, all that. Like, Ben Simmons is lazy, bro. Like, that's what I take from everything that has gone on with him from the inception, besides that they had a plan. But just, you know, I think everybody, every athlete, at so, you you know what you're deficient in, what, what, what you need to improve on. Even if you are, even if you have all this potential, even if you are, you know, Ben Simmons, even if you are a LeBron James, a freaking Michael Jordan, I mean, all these guys, they go into the off season, they go into this thing, and they do what needs to be done to better themselves, to become better. And Ben Simmons don't do that. Like, I mean, besides, let's, let's – for me, let's not talk about all the, everything that comes with it. Just from an athletic standpoint and from you, you know, with all the potential and everything that he's shown. And he's still young, you know, from everything that he's shown. For me, watching and seeing, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he works out and does all those things, but I don't think, I don't think he's on the, t- the, the, the Mamba mentality um, workout plan. You know what I mean, or the LeBron James workout plan, or the 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 jacket guys. He just you know what I mean, the guys that they have that immense talent, but they also have that immense um, um, pursuit. They also have that immense drive. They also have have that everything that it needs for you to not just be have this immense talent or or or, or excuse me or potential. You know what I mean, like LeBron James came into the, out of high school with a lot of potential. And he worked and he worked and all the things that he did to be the greatest player in the world. Like, you don't have that same drive as a Ben Simmons. You know what I mean? And that's just, it's paramount. It's what you see. You so, for, your so for me, it's like, like you know, like, real is real and is what it is. Like, you're not that guy. So, and that's fine. But you have to work, man. And to me, that's why I say he's lazy. That's why I say he just didn't put in the work that it takes to even be to 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 um, capitalize on the God given ability that He was given by the good Lord that He gives all of us, and it's all about what we do with it. I just feel like you know He was like like Kev, you pointed it out when we were talking about earlier. Everything had been handed to Him. Everything had been easy for Him. He hadn't been challenged at any point. And I firmly believe that the first time you can't get challenged is in the NBA. When you first get there, and now you reach adversity, and you feel like, oh damn, I gotta work. I mean, when I first came in the league, Kev, fucking Tom called me three o'clock in the morning at one point. Forgot what it was, and he had been watching film 
since like 11 o'clock trying to figure out a defense. And you know me, I'm asleep, this and that. And he called me wake up. And I, that's when I knew like, damn, boy, this boy watching fam and he the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? This right, and that. right. And it's stuff like that that I was like, well, I'm not working hard enough, you know, to get to this guy's level, even though I feel like I got talent, but I'm not working like a guy, like a Tom Brady, you know what I mean? And I think right. that's what Ben Simmons, if he was a real dude, would come to it and be like, I'm not working as hard as uh I hear yeah, KG used to work with Kevin going, you know. But you gave yeah. a great example of LeBron and him. Yeah. Um, and I say when LeBron first came in the league, LeBron wouldn't per se your best shooter in the right. league. But he worked at it. But imagine if he didn't work at it. Imagine if he was doing what Ben Simmons doing. They just lowered. That's the ceiling. difference. And that's what he's talking about. He the talk work ethic. The, yeah. the, the opportunity to work during the offseason, get that one on one training where you, you're shooting balls, you're doing whatever you gotta do to, to get better. I mean, just look at it and think about it, bro. You see, and and you see the talent with a Ben Simmons and a LeBron James. They're really almost carbon copies of each other when they first come out. The talent, the height, the handleability. Neither one could shoot the great three. Well, fucking Ben can't shoot at fucking all, but you know, all that. But the difference is, and it is the difference as you begin to climb. And just because you at the NBA level, the NFL level, the NHL level, whatever you're at, that you've gotten to, right? right? That does not <coughs> mean that you're the best <coughs> at it. The best gets separated by how the fuck you work and how you go. Ben Simmons does not work mm -mm. simply like what Kevin's pointed out. LeBron James works. And I'm, I'm, no disrespect to LeBron, because I feel like I'm disrespecting LeBron by even comparing him to that fucking boy. You understand me? Because I'm not, no disrespect LeBron to, to you. He just got a little upset with, about that one. Yeah, because I was thinking about it, dog, and just thinking about it's like how, like it's not. And I, I, I'm trying to, I was trying coming to. Coming out, coming out. Coming out, yes. Coming out. Yeah. Absolutely, coming absolutely, out. 100%. But now it's not even Hell the same. no. I mean, once, the, like Kev just pointed out, the only comparison was coming out. And your talent and your height and, you know, your ability and all that and all that. Like, that's the only comparison. Once you hit, once them two guys hit the 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 the, the, the pavement of the NBA, their scope of what they, LeBron James is a freaking animal in every respect of the, of, of the word to him. He, he, he's a, he's a philanthropist. He's a humanitarian. He helps our people like and he fucking balls also to go with it. What have we, like, I'm disrespecting him really by comparing him to Ben Simmons. You know what I'm saying? Ben, and But the good part about it is with the glass half full part for me is Ben Simmons is a young guy. And sometimes going in, you, you're not ready, you know, to go into right. those situations. Yeah, it, but, but it's just like anything else. You have to, one, recognize it. One, say, yes, this is what the hell I need to do. Stop blaming other people and blaming the circumstances around you. And then get to your business. Get to your business, dog. Because he, I mean, a motherfucker talented, dude. That's Jeez, shit. True. What else we got? Well, staying on the basketball topic, uh, LSU women's basketball is having their first open practice on Monday. Love Kim Mulkey. It's my girl. Love but Kim Mulkey. she's having to like replace 70% of their team, like their scoring production right now. But I think they should be able to pull it off. She got... Who they got coming in though? Who they, they got, got Flage, coming in? Um, they got Angel Reese coming from Maryland. She averaged seventeen point eight points per game and ten point six rebounds. Where's she so, coming from? Maryland. Maryland. What's she? T tell me them numbers again. Seventeen point <laughs> eight points per game and ten point six rebounds per game. That she, coming out, she coming out the ACC. That, that go that basketball guy coming out of. <laughs> that, <go> to, <laughs> that basketball you know, man. But that she coming out the ACC. <laughs> and who else coming? ACC? Yeah. Who was coming? Then Flage, she's a freshman. You ain't, got, you ain't got to tell me about her. She had a game in high school. She uh, scored 47 points, and oh, 47 no. of those was 12 three-pointers. And she going to spit. That's the one be spitting? Yeah, she rapped. Oh, too. she just signed with Adidas? That who she signed? Who she yeah. under armor? Who she? Puma. Where's she from? Well, how she signed with them if LSU? Puma, she's nice from Atlanta. She's from Savannah, Georgia. She's from Atlanta, ain't she? Uh, Don't they got the other girl coming from Lake Charles somewhere? Uh, no, that's from... Uh, Shreveport, Parkway. Parkway, huh? But she's class of 2023. She a monster. I was about yeah. to say, when's the little girl from LCA? I know, I know the little girl from LCA coming here. 
Lafayette Christian? Yeah. Where she come from? OP, how you don't know about her? What you mean? I know about her. She had like 70 in the game, huh? A 70? 70. Yeah, yes. I know about her, yeah. Where she coming? I, I don't know. What 70 points? What, what, she what, put what up she damn there Kobe? Hey, she <laughs> she had look, but, look up. What her name? I think she had 23. She, 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 yeah, she, she, but she almost hit 84. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, LC is a basketball school, though. Who? Yeah. 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 Nah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Y'all not going to sit on here and disrespect Trey or Fault like that. No, no, no. They both. No, they both. Bro, look. They both. I went to basketball and football, bro. They both. I was in. Listen, boys and girls, bro. They both. Bro, I'm telling you. I was in the district with LCA. Y'all start talking about. I don't know about basketball. No, we not disrespecting Trey. I went to a basketball school. That's a little cuss. I already know you ain't Look, before they became a football school with Trev, they was a basketball school. For real? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Well, put yeah, I know, but I don't find. Okay. Like, I don't real know. talk. Going well, to they, everybody they are deaf. Like, and right. they gym, they call it the Plex. Yeah. And that, it's like. Oh, so they've been on that basketball it's like a college yeah. gym, bro. Like, you go in there and it's. I got to go to LCA women's basketball game. Man. And they do the El- announcement before the trail, game. I'm coming, baby. Roster. I'm coming to y'all game, Trail. I went <laughs> to a my basketball man. school. But now, I don't. What? I went to a basketball school. I went to state twice. You always talking about basketball and you. But you, you did ball though. I ain't gonna lie, you did ball. You showed us a couple of clips. You was knocking them fucking threes down, boy. Sharp shooter. Definitely mm-hmm. shoot better than okay, Stu. Okay, I see. I see. Oh, oh, you know so basketball def- player. I don't like basketball. I ain't saying yeah. you was. I just said she yeah, shoot. He threw your name out there like that, yeah, Stu. You like you was balling or something. Stu, like I, Stu think he do everything well. I think I, I am a, Stu I think am he do every hooper, fucking thing well. You heard what he just said? I'm a decent hooper. Oh no, you ain't worth a dry down. You ain't worth a dry down. You better tell him, care how we used to boy get out. Who? I don't know. I don't hey, think we, used, we used to go to the wreck yeah, and run the wreck now. Tell, tell her stupid ass win. up, man. Sit out here with all that shitty talking. That's about. that hurt, though. What we got else? What we got else? Um, Instead of Ben Simmons, sorry ass. <laughs> Joe Burrow. Um, That's my guy there now. Yeah. It's a better topic. Joe B, well, quarterback, baby. Woo! He deleted his social media for right what now. What you gonna say, Kel? I saw you about to say something. I wasn't gonna really say nothing bad, but I was just gonna say, wait till you hear what what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear the story. But <laughs> basically, he deleted social media because they're zero and two right now, and he was like, I don't want that distraction from social media making us zero and three. So he was just saying, what's great is I don't have, I don't have Twitter, Instagram right now. So are I've you seen sure this is Joe? He said it in a press conference. <laughs> you want to see the video? <laughs> yeah, that's because the question he was. Yeah, and he was just like, we're focused on what's going on in here, and I'm sure it's not a very good reaction, but I think there will be a different reaction as we get into it. Good job, the time man, TJ. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I don't think he probably would have willingly said that, though. What? Yeah. 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 Where is it? Where's the clip? He got it right here. I don't, I don't even believe that. It, he did. He, did. he it, said that? Yes, he did. He yeah. got the least social media. Yes. Well, no, he did that on his own. I don't think nobody told him to do that. He was just like, I don't want to Yeah, but see the that. Joe I know, that ain't even like. Maybe he's trying to lock in. Yeah, but he's already been already locked in. <laughs> he's trying to lock in some more. I can <laughs> tell you what's going on with Cincinnati. It's going to take a few weeks for Cincinnati. It's going to take a few weeks. No yeah. starters played in the preseason, pretty much. They might have had a few of them. Oh, that's true. Hardly that's huge, any of them played. That's that, true. That's, that's true. That's true. That's true. And Joe was hurt. Yeah, yeah he had Joe that didn't appendix Joe had appendix surgery. Very true, Kev. And he's still that, getting that. back. And me being naive, and not then that, And then, you know, the other thing in that conference, that conference ain't going to run away from him. Oh, no. Nah. It don't fucking matter. No. Pittsburgh ain't fucking going nowhere. Baltimore, 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 Baltimore ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I don't Cleveland know ain't that. going nowhere. I don't know about that. Baltimore, 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 Baltimore cold. <laughs> Baltimore, 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 Baltimore just fucking Baltimore. lost. Yeah, okay, but that was a shootout. But what I'm saying is they not running away from him where they're taking any making any traction yeah, I, to where they're taking any lead I mean, right away now, in the conference. Right but yeah, now. but they're not going <laughs> to sit there. They going it's going to have to be like Cincinnati going to have to shit on themselves for three straight couple weeks. of more games. That's what I'm couple saying. More, yeah. That's, they're not, right that's now, not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And and know. Baltimore, let me tell you something. My first think that contract situation and all that shit is not going to affect that team. It is. And yeah. affect that ball player? You saw that shit this past weekend. That defense. is going to affect them. A defense is getting cooked. Boy, look here. Get that shit done, Baltimore. Get you ready for the video? Yeah, yeah, run that shit. Who this is? This Joe B? 
Joseph. He said, who this is? This is Joby? Oh, man. I know you're not big on social media, Look at my but dog. how much of the, the reaction to the 0-2 start have you felt seen? Well, what's great is I don't have Twitter or Instagram right now, so I've seen none of it. We, uh, we're focused on what's going on in there. I'm sure it's not a very good reaction, um, <laughs> but I think it'll be a different reaction as we get going here. Uh, I don't know what y'all talking about. That, that's not I don't right. know what y'all talking about. Yeah, that's now, that's the Joe B. I know y'all talk. Y'all made it seem like he, he on all this shit, doing all this shit. And not the dumb. That boy say, say all that. I was just telling you what he said on. Y'all had total. Y'all totally manipulated that for me to say something. <laughs> well, else. I don't I'm think they did. Right I think now. the media did. They, yeah. Like on social media, they did. Because the I never really out. seen the clip neither. That was I just I just read something on Twitter about him deleting. But they it. were I'm making like, it seem like it was a big deal because right, he was right, like right. sitting in the locker room like hours after the game when they lost that first game. So they was making it seem like he kind of in his heart right now about it. No. Yeah. That, yeah, that that was that's Joe. That's the Joe I know right there. He about to get locked in, man. He he already locked in. He, that's why he say I don't care. That was actually a good game. That first game was yeah season. because both teams played pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if listen, you want to be honest, yeah. no, I no, am. I'm being honest that's because true. I had to I had to look at Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh was playing New England. But look though, Kel, mm-hmm. just think about it, right? Think about I think about it this way. When I think of the NFL. And I realized this when I got to New England. The NFL is so different than college, right? It's really in um, increments. It's like four game increments is, is how I looked at it when I was in New England. The preseason was like some tune-up shit, like from the veteran's perspective. Right, I right. wasn't no fucking veteran, but from y'all perspective, because I just saw the shit. And – you build up. It's almost like you're working out for the combine, and you want to peak at that exact right time. So even if you lose a couple games, now you don't want to fucking lose. You know what I mean? You right. you, you don't want to lose. But in Cincinnati's case, they on too. But they're still there, and they still building. So all about that's what Joe sitting there talking about. You know, at the end, check us out at the end. How we look at the end. Because he knows, man, that that shit is not going to continue like that. He knows, like Kev pointed out, they played bad in the first game, played this here. He made a couple mistakes, a couple mistakes. But all that shit is fixable, and that's what he's talking about. And, you know, good teams, and I think they're on the verge of being one of those good teams. If he stays there, they're going to have to be a good team and be a consistent team to keep him there and to have him at his height and to keep him playing at an optimal level with pieces around him. Um but I think they build it. They build it. The 0-2 start for them don't bother me because I know the kid. Right. Man, TJ just showed me a catch. George Pickens made George just now in this game. It, it just hit was crazy. It, it just I saw hit that. My phone. It was that one hand. I saw that. You it just it? Picked, it just hit my phone just now. Let my watch, me. I mean. That catch I saw was that. crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Show it. Oh, I did see that. It was crazy. Well, I didn't see it, but I saw it pop up. What else but we got? The, hey, the crazy thing is, though, George Pickens, we would have loved him here at LSU. Oh my God! Imagine. And he loved it it here too. Can't get them all. Nope, can't, can't. This seat taken. This <laughs> <laughs> can't say hell. What we got up? The last one I got. You saw um, the 2023 football schedule was released earlier this For week. For who? LSU. Yes, LSU. No, nah, I ain't see that. We got Florida State in Orlando first. Yeah, yeah. Then we got Grambling State at home, Mississippi State away, Arkansas at home, Ole Miss away, Mizzou away, Auburn home, Army home, Alabama away, Army. Florida home, and Georgia State at home. And Texas, Army and, Texas and Georgia State? Yes. And Texas A&M at home. Georgia State? Yeah. And this is like a late game. Like Why we got Georgia season. State so late? Right know. after Florida. We play UAB. We play yeah, Army. I was about to say that's one of them late. Army like, before late. Alabama. I did not Then Georgia State before Army? Texas A&M. Army symbol was. Playing, Alabama, playing Florida after Alabama. That is crazy. That's no, that's Lord, that's a brutal. That's, I mean, we used to play uh, Arkansas every year after Alabama. Yeah. So. Yeah. Arkansas but that's, but that's not. 
Ar- Every Florida game comes. I mean, it is. Arkansas, I, I get what you're saying. Nah, Arkansas. Nah, Arkansas is fucking good. I get what you're saying. Nah, saying. Nah, saying. Yeah, I what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put it to y'all like this: We in the SEC West. Yeah. No matter how which yeah, way you man. look at it, one of those teams will have to get behind Alabama. <laughs> one of them. One of them will have to come behind Alabama. It don't matter if it's a mediocre team or a pretty good team. We still gonna have to come to that game. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's that gauntlet, baby. Yes. That's yeah. part of that gauntlet. That's what the West is. I ain't gonna lie. I used to love that fucking gauntlet. I used to love that shit. Bring them motherfuckers so, on. So with the conferences changing, how I you think it. that's gonna change like the way they schedule? Because this schedule, it's well, not it give you an opportunity people. to see different matchups. Yeah. And that's a I mean, listen. I always welcome change, man. You know, I always welcome however they're gonna do it for these guys. Cause, it's, cause, it, cause the thing about it is, it. You get an upset on one side, upset on this side. You know what I mean? It just betters that side, better yeah. the conference. And this is one thing you know. SEC ain't going nowhere, man. Oh, no, that shit sure. always going to bring that powerhouse out that shit. It's only going to make the conference better. So I'm all for, like, crossing. As long as I still want – don't get it to where, though, like, you not still – bringing these smaller schools in if the shit get too, you know, crowded yeah. eventually. But still want you to bring them lesser schools in and give them that money. It's going to be tough to play a, with 16 teams. That's what I'm saying. Eight-game SEC schedule. That's what I'm saying. For sure. That's what I'm saying. We'll see how it's good. But I like it. I like the crossing. I like going across. I like, you know, conferences intermingling and then you get to the meat and potatoes. But I like, I like, I like it. I like it. I really do. I like it. I Can't like wait it. to I see how it unveils. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that shit. It's going to be interesting. But that TV money going to play something into that too because you because people yeah, are going to want to see man, y'all. LSU Army. People want to see LSU Miami or yeah, but you know what I'm saying, again. like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, and Army, like you know, ah, we pay just... Army to come here, right? We pay them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got to start. I'm gonna hit on what Dion was saying before we get up out of here. We got to start paying the HBCU more money, more money. LSU, salute, hats off to you guys. You know, over eight hundred thousand to the university. How many nine SEC opponents we have? Non SEC, yeah. New Mexico, there they go up there. Florida State, Southern, New Mexico, and UAB. UAB. That's four. Yeah. Four. So why couldn't we have two state teams we play a year and rotate them mm-hmm. and then have two other games? Whatever, huh? Like your Florida State, your UAB. Whatever. But- <clears throat> and you know that makes sense, Kel, because it don't, like, it's not going to affect, like, your your power anything because you play in the fucking SEC man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so then, it's not so nobody ain't gonna say oh you played a weak schedule you yeah. did this none of that. You can Kev. And then you got some like pretty strong in state teams like Tulane U L like this. U L. There's some good Tulane. teams. Right, right, right. Tech, You're right. They, you know what I'm saying? Like You're they right. had their little run, so it, it, right. it, it wouldn't really mess anything up if you really did. But if we can't get like two, that. at least one in state team a year. Have to. One in state team yeah. have to, and 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 like I say, get one in state school and you rotate them HBCUs. Like next year, you got Grambling coming in and shit. Bring Southern back the next year. You know, rotate that man and keep that, keep that, cause that's gonna help the university. That's gonna help the HBCUs getting that in that influx of that million dollars every year. You got that million dollars, you know, coming in every year, man. It's gonna help. It's gonna help the community. That money staying right here in Baton Rouge, all that shit. So I'm all for that, bro. I'm all for that. What you laughing for, dog? Inside joke, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. So, look, we got New Mexico coming up. New Mexico. Still Not New like Mexico State. state. Come, it still yeah, sounds yeah. like State wanted to come out your mind. It did. It did. hold it so We got New Mexico coming up. This weekend. And look, this is the last game before we get in that gauntlet, yep. baby. Mm-hmm. Right, this is the last one. So, like for me, and you know, you guys could let me know. But for me, uh, you had who? Florida State. You had Southern. You had Mississippi State. I think it was a, a lackluster showing against Florida State. Or Southern. Well, we know what that was. That was for the. That was for the community. Um, <laughs> Mississippi State. I think that showed a lot about the character of the team and those guys getting down early, coming back, showing, showing, showing. Um, now, this New Mexico game, you know, is, to me is very interesting because to me, 
if you're, you're three, that's three games, so now you're in the fourth game. As a coaching staff, excuse me, as a quarterback, uh, as a everything right now, the coaching staff should have an idea of what works well, what they want to do, uh, and that kind of an identity of the football team, especially offensively, what you want to do. I think the defense, Kev, has been doing a much, 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 much better job than the offense, but we know defense comes along a lot quicker. I was about to say, you know like I know defense comes along a lot quicker than we do. But I want to see against New Mexico a clear game plan, a clear uh, what we're going to be offensively. I think I got an idea defensively. House has done a fantastic right, right. job. But offensively, I want to see a little bit more of what they're trying to get to. You know your identity. I mean? That's what your you're trying identity, to say. Your bro. identity. What, what your it identity, is. Um, how you want to attack the game. What's your game plan? Your game plan against New Mexico State should tell us exactly what we're trying to do offensively. Correct. It shouldn't be something that we're trying to figure out in the third quarter. Wait, and, what? I'm, and what I mean by that is whether <clears throat> we're going to be a re-option predominantly quarterback, running back, running the ball, or are we going to be a run the ball, read, op- read option, quick passing game to where we hit those, but we haven't showed that yet because we haven't showed the ability to hit any accurate passes from 15 on in yet consistently. Are we going to be, because we have big play wide receivers, are we going to be a run, play action, go deep, 15 to 30 down the field type of team? I don't know. How do you think that changed this week with the absence of Deshaun? Well, I think this week with him being out, I don't think it really changes much. You still got the horses to I go. Think, I think just, you still plug them in. Just going off of this coaching staff, it yeah. don't matter who's in the game. It, it's because if, if that was <laughs> if it was that much pressure, they'd have been trying to get hit that boy the ball from the beginning. That's just true. You know what I mean? They'd have been trying to pressure getting the ball from the beginning. So I don't think it changes. I just I think this coaching staff is more – honestly, I don't think they give a shit. Great thing is – the opportunity to get Jack Besh more involved, that's where it evolves from. That Keshawn is not going to be. That, that's where it's going to be created at. For me right now is to see how they create it. Correct. How they be, how are they able to go and get Jack the ball Correct. with Keshawn not being there? Is Jack going to be in Keshawn's old position? Or, you know, how that's going to work? 100%. That's, that's, that's. I'm interested, bro. It's, I mean, I fuck, bro. I mean, I ain't. I haven't heard Jack Best name called in so long, and I think he's one of the premier guys offensively um, in this offense. Um, talent from a talent perspective and what we've seen in the past uh, from him. Um, so I'm with Kev. I'm interested to see offensively, because I think defensively we're doing a really, really good right. job. Like I said, hats off to uh, Coach House again. Um, but offensively, man, Coach Denbrock, um, we got to see what's going on, baby. Sloan, we got to see what's going on, baby. Um, let's see. We got to see a little bit more. Uh, not, uh, You know, I would like to see some creativity, um, but I don't think we're there yet, maybe later on in the season. But I would definitely like to see a, see a contrite effort and a contrite game plan on exactly what mm. it is that we're trying to do offensively. Um, um, here at LSU right now and going forward. And I think New Mexico State, <laughs> there it is. There you go. It slipped. It slipped. <laughs> <laughs> New Mexico, excuse me. And I think New Mexico is the um, is the team to work these things out through and to stick to it and see where we are. But I think they got a pretty good defense. No, I mean, I it, it, I, it's not going to be easy, but we – we should win the football game, but I want to see can we complete passes from the 15 down, from the, you know what I mean, Zero, from the line of scrimmage to 15 yards beyond. Because we have the guys that catch balls and make run, run off the contact. And if we're not trying to throw the ball deep, we have the guys that can do that. So I think that is the more – 
way we go about, you know, the passing game for him. But, I mean, if we can't complete, you know, care of simple dig routes hitches. and hitches and it's not high, it's in a place where these guys can actually catch the ball and make, make something happen with it, um, we're going to be in trouble. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be another – it's going to be a hard game. Like you pointed out, New Mexico has a uh, – a, a, a decent de- defense. Um, uh, accolades at the linebacker and the secondary position. Um, so we know that they're coming with, you know, not just a mediocre defense, but something that's going to challenge us, especially early. But, I mean, listen, if we play the way we're supposed to and we we, 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 we get a hat on a hat in a running game, that's another thing, Kev. You can let me know how you think about this. I want to see what we do in the run game. Because, like you pointed out, we, we've seen just, you know, no, so much normalcy as far as, like, you know, the stretch game. We haven't seen any counters. We haven't seen, you know, any deception. Anything, everything we've seen is, is almost like vanilla. Right. It's very sporadic. Uh, the run game is very sporadic. Um, you you want to see a lot more. You had, you had a couple of consistent runs two three runs back to back in a row this last game but you want to see more especially for the guys in the backfield because just like anybody else that plays football any sport you gotta feel it you gotta get that feel you gotta get those touches new mexico is the number eight defense in a country in the country hey well look we're gonna have a look we're just gonna have to be able to work baby who have they hired in georgia on here Huh? Whoa. They hired in Georgia. I'm looking at the NCAA stats. Yeah, but listen, like, this is yeah, diff- and, and that's fine. But Through you know, three some, weeks. yeah, but you know, sometimes those things are misleading, man. It depends on who you played, the, yeah, the type of the, sure. the, the the style of offense that you've played against, you know, so on and so forth. So New Mexico also, you know, they 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 schedule cupcakes as well. You know what I mean? So, but this is the thing that just says that they're a formidable defense, right? Right. That. We're we're not. It's not a a a, a regular rent a win. Shouldn't we, be. We understand what we're doing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So this will also be a nice little test if they live up to the billing um, before we go into Auburn. You know, and I mean Auburn was ranked what eleventh at the beginning. They're not eleventh anymore. But let me tell you this. It's just like Kevin. I never forget this shit. This was a shell shock. It's just like when I got to school in 97 and we would rank whatever it was and we had a terrible season. And, you know what I mean, Auburn is kind of like going through that ranked 11th, went down laws and going downhill a little bit. But if you get that ranking, that's because you had some talent on the team. Right. And you had some expectations. So that, 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 does, that doesn't mean that you just completely suck. It just means you're off to a terrible start or whatever it may be. But at any given time, that talent could show up like it showed up against Florida that year when we played them and beat number one Florida at home that year. Right. It could show up right. the same way with Auburn coming into Tiger Stadium or what we played them at, at their place. Yeah, we played and that's there. even worse mm-hmm. in their shit. Right? So. Jordan here. Right. Right, 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 right. So. You know, New Mexico, formidable defense. I'm on board with Kevin. Let's see where this offense is going. Because I think we are good on the defense. Defense is okay. They're more than okay. Let's see what Jaden Daniels and his offense does. But the one thing I'm going to say before we get up out of here is, in order for us, to be and to get to where we want to be as a offense, as a as a as a you know football team, we are going to have to have some semblance of a passing game. We're gonna have to and not just manufacture it, we're gonna have to be able to on third and eight when it's time to drop back and stick and everybody got their hat on hat and make a pass or make a completion. And that's not saying that's going to happen this year, but in order for us to get to ultimately where we're still competing for championships and compete in an SEC and national championship, um, JD going to have to get a lot more accurate at the intermediate passing game. And that's just what that is. 
But so we got a prediction for New Mexico? Anybody? I'm just saying win. Yeah, at this win. <laughs> at this point, huh? I'm just saying win. <laughs> and then not not in a bad way, but it's just win. Win the ball game. Play a solid game from first quarter to fourth quarter and get the win. What you want to see? Like I just say, I want, I I want to see us have an identity offensively. That's all. What Where you want to see, Stu? Yeah, I, I think I'm with Kev. I just want to see an offensive identity. What what do we want to be as an offense? Because we haven't seen that at all. So, Jay. I do want to see the offense, but I just love seeing the defense. Like <laughs> I just like I just love it. It's just so good. <laughs> I feel you on that. Like one, I just be like, ooh, that's just that LSU defense. Like I, it just looks so good every time. Like I have no problems with them. Defense good. I like yeah, seeing defense. Them. It, it going defense, defense play. Yeah. Jay Ward, baby. <laughs> Boom. Hal Perkins, baby. Hal yeah, yeah. Perkins, baby. <laughs> I think I think Jay gonna come next week. You you I test think, him. Yeah, I think he gonna get come that boy week. in here, man. Get, 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 we got we got to start getting some thing on the wall so they can sign Hal Perkins and Jay Ward, my two guys. We they gotta be the first two to sign that thing, baby. We Who you want to see, Op? What you thinking, Op? For next, what you think? What you want to see against New Mexico? Not state, New Mexico. I want to see the offense flying early. Like everybody wants to see the offense. No, but like I'm saying, like I want to see it sustained throughout the game. Like not sustained, just one drive. Yeah. Right, like, right, right, you right. Want to right. see it again yeah. to like the second half yeah, or something yeah. like that. Like yeah. I want to see like consistent on offense, offense and no injuries. Oh no injuries. I what think we want? should be a tempo yeah. team. Tempo. What you want? That's a good idea. What you want, T? Uh, I they can't even see you. Yeah, nah, Put T on that, dog. Yeah, so My dog. My dog on that. <laughs> You about uh, my uh, dog on there. I want to see big uh, promoter. Let them know, dog. Stop playing. Deuce is the nice. LSU checking in. <laughs> checking uh, in. No, I want to see like the increase in penalty, the decrease in penalties and stuff like that. Like just mm. some more dis- discipline. That's some young crew. Cool. They the ball, attention, Especially during like when the <laughs> stadium get loud because we gonna have to play <laughs> road <laughs> games and stuff and just some of the like we can't go tempo all the time because when we do go tempo, yeah. they do. Start like lacking, mm-hmm. they start false starts by the younger guys, stuff like that. So, Listen I just want to see him. some more discipline. Okay, TJ. That, 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 that's only his ability to be in the recruiting room when he was working with us, you know what I'm saying? Hey, understand all hey, so oh, that just more, lets me know he paid attention. One more thing, I think go we ahead, need to get go ahead. We, 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 don't be trying to shine know, on no, TJ, no, 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 right? Let him, let, let him have that. Yeah, don't be trying to shine on TJ. That's why I be talking my dog. No, I just one more thing, you need to get better with special teams. Oh yeah, we so forgot I about just, that. I was just about to the hit punt that. coverage and the kickoff coverage. It's terrible. It was terrible from the beginning. The 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 the, the, the snap, the kick, every, special teams suck. I thought you brought a consultant in. Who? I don't know. I need to consult me. That shit terrible. <laughs> and, and then it's <laughs> like that shit right And now. then it's like the old, like you know, in we the older days of LSU, you would see, you would see like the starters playing after the first game. That's what I'm saying. And now it's just like. Walk on. No, nah, I don't know what they're doing. Know who they That's got out there? Brian Kelly shit. That shit ain't gonna work. No. But look, I was just about to touch on that actually with the fucking special teams, dog, <laughs> because that was the reason why I said in the Florida State game we should have went for it because yeah. right, the special right, team was right. terrible and it's been terrible all the way through the three games. Every Spe- game. Our special teams suck. I ain't gonna lie. Our special team suck right now. Everybody's talking about our special team. Our special team has done nothing in the kicking game, the return game. As a matter of fact, we done gave up everything in the return game. We done gave up everything in the return game. Field position game is terrible. Dog, it's, oh my God, our special teams. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Who is our special team coach? Brian Polian. Oh, Lord Jesus. Brian Polian. I, we gonna talk about it after. Nah, we ain't gonna talk about it now. Nah, that's the first <laughs> person that need to be like early season on the on the on the on the look on the look on the chop is Brian. Like our special team. Now I don't know the history of LSU special team. I'm no, we've been that. good the last few. No, years. no. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't know the history of it. Listen, uh, I'm not done. I don't know the history of it. But our special team, especially in our return game and our kick game, I know the kickers we've had, yeah. and I know the return people we've had. Shit been fine. You understand me? All the way back to my dog here, Eddie Kane before him, Skylar Green, OBJ, Ooh. like everybody. LG, Tyron Matthew, Ooh. the Badger. You Pat know what P. I'm saying? 
Pat, like we don't talk about Pat P. You know, he from the crib. You know. <laughs> Damn, why we can't talk <laughs> about him? Cause, I, cause, cause, dog, I just put Pat P. On another thing. Over there, you, you know, you. just okay. like y'all got y'all Lafayette thing. I got my, you know, my Pat P. Over here. You know. But you put the Lafayette thing on that. No, that was OP. <laughs> that was OP. OP made but me the, do I that. Mean, the, I did. Dogtown came baby, from right, the three right, three seven to LSU. Man, you know what I'm saying? Three zero five seven eight six nine five four. Let go. Three three seven three three seven, seven. seven. Hey, zero five three, three. Seven, zero six. You know, y'all got that many here? No, goes? seven zero five zero six. Yeah, Those don't right. count. Only one I know nah. recognize three three seven. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't trying to hear that. Other shit. Them gangsters come out at three three right. seven, baby. Oh God. I <laughs> promise you, God. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, we gotta get that special team, dog. You, just, you know, you you, you take purchase. that back, like you say, to the honey badger. You know, DJ Chart. Oh, Dang, DJ yeah, Shark, yeah. baby, yeah, baby. You know, don't stress out over it right now. Don't stress out. We don't, gotta get it back right now. That special team, LSU's always been good on special team. And you take it back to all them kickers and all the good, good calls and everything. BK, you got to get that special team back on point, baby. This is not just DBU. We are fucking special teams, you too. K York in the league kicking 60 yards. That's what I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm saying. You know, so we all agree that they have beaten New Mexico convincingly. Yeah. 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 I hope so. Yeah. They were that number eight ranked defense is yeah. like what you said. The, the yeah. teams they play it's is misleading. very misleading. It's very misleading. It's very misleading. So listen. I predict the score, he New Mexico to. State. He had to. About. <laughs> Boot up. I don't know what the fuck the offense is going to do, Jesus Christ. I'm going to just say the score going to be LSU 35, Georgia 17. New Mexico State. Damn. New Mexico <laughs> 17. <laughs> People gonna sing you a check. Okay. Okay. What you got? Right. What you got, Stu? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. Much. Them, yes. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna so? say. I was gonna say 42-14. Jesus, that's, that's a good one. Forty-two fourteen. What you got? Our defense OP? just good. Op. He like. sleep over. <laughs> what? <laughs> he locked in right now. He got. <laughs> what you what? think the, the score of the game gonna be? Oh, uh, forty-five. Damn. Twenty. You think we're See? gonna hit a, you think we're gonna hit a field goal? I mean we might. We're not gonna hit no goddamn field goal. Now nah, I'm not with you on that. <laughs> we're not hitting a field goal. We might get one. Y'all nah, talk. We're not gonna hit no field goal, dog. We got six touchdowns hey, on that other one. Unless that field goal is like we gotta get 30 it. yards in. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say a chip it, shot. Like, we got we need a uh, kicker. We need them chip shots. What you got? What you got, Jay? I'm not saying mine. Why? You're gonna call me a copycat because every single time I have one, somebody else says. You know we're gonna start so doing, say, dog. Can I start going first? Not, I was, I was just about that. to say that, no, dog. That's what we gonna that. start doing because she be copying no, off of everybody else's name. Yeah. She always do that. She get on somebody else's score and ride first. it. I'm gonna start going first. I you promise. are every time. I dog. was gonna ask you that though. That's how you know I'm not lying. I wasn't trying to copy. It's convenient you asked me after I said it. No, you didn't say I said it. I'm not saying All right. Mine. What's your score then? Go ahead. I'm not going to say. You got to say it. Is it the same score? It was 42 14, <laughs> but I've been said that in my head. Like, I've she been had it down. She I'm not going to. just like me? Yeah. That's all it is. I'm not going to lie. That was my score. That's my junior. Like, my kids. What's wrong with y'all? Are your kids in here? <laughs> my kids. Don't look at me. <laughs> What you got, Kev? Like, you, I don't know what the offense is going to do, mm-hmm. but we going to win the game. Right. Could score over 30, we could score under 30. Right. But they gonna score 13. 13? Yeah. So what's 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 how much we gonna score, Kev? You gotta give me a score for us? What I said? 35? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you said 35. What you got? I'm gonna go 37. <laughs> Don't, ask. Yeah. Don't even ask me why. Like I need price it. is right. Nigga, that's why. I ain't even gonna say why, dog. It was saying, you think we're gonna get a goddamn field goal too? Get a two point. I'm not two. Too, yeah, two point conversion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a high school coach, yeah. just start going for two. Yeah, you know what? Whoa. Safety. <laughs> I'm done with this. We're going for two. Safety can happen. Yeah, it can. Right. We can get a so safety. So you and Jay got the same. Well, all three of y'all got the same score. So Jay, you're not really grouped into them. You you don't I'm get. I'm going first. Yeah, you are honestly because I mean every time Stu says score, you say the same. But you score. always let him go first. He be. 
He be I don't I, he I, be in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause like <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> see, that's why I can't have you on here. That's why. See, remember last time you sat over there and said that stupid shit, and I told you you can't be on here no more. Nah, but they ain't hear you. I heard you just now. I heard what you said and heard you. No, uh, no. I just told. I told you last time you said that stupid shit over there in the corner. You can't say stuff like that on air, even if the people ain't catch you. I heard you. Did you hear him, Stu? Yeah, you I can't do right it next to me. <laughs> this motherfucker here, dog. I love that's why I love him, though. He crazy, bro. He be some stupid shit. You can't say that, though, dog. You can't say that. Goodness gracious, ain't you nobody, heard him care? Ain't nobody saying that. Yeah, he can't. Something wrong with that boy, TJ, though. I ain't lying. But look, we gonna come back to this thing next week and see New Mexico State. Who Auburn, <laughs> Auburn up next? Yeah, Mexico. we gonna get into it after that, for Ooh. next week. That, that's, that's when that gauntlet start. That gauntlet. Mm-hmm. That gauntlet, baby. But look. Who Kel. We got Kev in the building. Appreciate you coming. To- hey, Kev gonna be back next week too. It's for it's football season now. It's on and popping, baby. It's I promise on and you. Popping, mm-hmm. baby. For everybody in the building. J O P Stu. Who else left? TJ, my dog. Oh! <laughs> we out of here. Where my dog's at. We we'll be back next week. Check us out. Ho, 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 ho!